be bringing you low, low prices, last chance to buy, and end of line stock. Make sure you're watching because once the deals are gone, they're gone. Check out your Wall of Fame entries in this hour and be in with a chance to win £100 credit to your account. The Breakfast Club on Jewelry Maker. Hello everyone, it's Mark here with some news of an up and coming show. Join myself and presenter Carol on the morning show on September the 25th. And myself and presenter Hannah on the mid show on the 25th. And myself and Zena on the late show on the 25th. That's right, you've got me all day We're having a Mark Smith day on Wednesday the 25th of September. So in the morning show, Carol and I are going to be showcasing chips, nuggets and macrame two of my favourite uh, mediums. And then on the mid-show, this is going to be amazing. We have got brand new relaunch, new products. We're going to introduce you again to the world of Paracord. Brand new colours, brand new tools, even the DVDs are back. And then the late show, a bit self-indulgent, one of my other passions, beaded Kumahimo. So we're going to be doing a back to basics show telling you all about the, the setting up of the discs, finishing, putting clasps on and how to incorporate beads in your work. So that's Mark Smith Day, Wednesday the 25th of September, the morning, the mid and the late show. There's lots of other surprises I'm sure. We'll look forward to seeing you then. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. is always exciting but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewelry then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers you can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. fabulous to have your company here this evening on Jewelry Maker. I'm Jenny Cleary and we have a very special guest. Uh, I'm not feeling weird now. I feel all right. Um, I've had lots of sugar and some cola based drink so I'm fine I'm a bit fizzy what's the worst that can happen so tonight we are joined by the uber not trumpety trumps uh, by the uber talented Katie everybody please welcome our guests for this evening hello, hello. darling hello. how are you I'm good thank you it's our first ever show it is so let's start by showing the amazing jewellery that you bring to the table. So it's a different twist on bezels and prongs. Um, well, certainly for the second kit, for the first one. Hi, darling. Sorry, am I in the shop? Yeah. I'm really sorry. Uh... He's always trying to steal my limelight, <laughs> that one. It's all right, darling. Um, uh, Dagmanina won't see you just by the back of you. Now, whatever her name is now. Um, Katie, my darling angel, do you mind if we have a peruse across your jewellery? No, go for it. Now, Katie, you're going to be doing a giveaway for each one of the kits tonight, aren't yes. you? Yes, yes. You, can you point to the pieces of which you're giving away, please? Um, I don't... Somebody else deciding, or do you want me to decide? I want you to decide, because you're okay. in control. So we will give away... We'll give away from the first... We'll give away that main piece, the one that's over here. The first kit, the seed beads. Yeah. 
That's my favorite. Yeah. This is so amazing. Oh, this is fabulous. Isn't that fab? So it's a different way of bezel setting using seed beads. Yeah. It is like a piece of modern art, like Oliver just said. Um, and then um, a pair of earrings and also, um, so a pair of earrings, so you're giving a necklace and a pair of earrings for yeah. each one too. Yeah. And to, to be in with a win, all you've got to do is purchase the kit. Everybody will be put into um, a bag of randomness and we will pick one a random name out. Uh, then we have got another gorgeous kit coming up um, that's, that we haven't got any jewellery out for, but it is right here. Oh, this one here to the left, to the left. Oh, this one, sorry. I got confused with the extra one we had with the moo comet. Uh, then we have got this. Now, this is the nine o'clock kit, which is just divine. So you had a, a big love for this one, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, I adored this one. This is so me. So, so, so you. Me. Yeah. So up your street. So there'll be a giveaway for that one as well. Yes. Which is the giveaway. I'm going to let you choose. No, because it's too much pressure in case I give away <laughs> something you wanted to no, keep on no, there. No, it's fine, honestly. Okay, let's let our producer choose then. Then uh, The tree of life. Okay. Yeah. So it's going to be this one. Isn't it fantastic? So if you'd like to win a KT original, you need to, all you've got to do is buy one of the kits to be in with a chance. We've got some very exciting things coming up for you. How about these? They're amazing. Right. We've had a lot of uh, whooping and wiring over this in, in the uh, jewellery maker headquarters. Massive carrot weight. These are brilliant. Affairs and oh, you stay where you're supposed to go, you rascal. It's very, not well, very well behaved, but it's beautiful. Feels amazing. This picture, Jasper, is coming up for you a little bit later. Every single one is totally different. That's coming up at nine. Can't believe I'm still awake at nine o'clock. Uh, then we have got the, the, not these, yeah. Oh, yeah, pears and rounds. All I heard was rounds, because I don't know what happened in my ear. These are so tribal and so autumnal as well, aren't they? Beautiful, brand new, never seen before, coming up at eight. Then we have got some more Jasper. Coming up in the bars at uh, Hop Estate. We've got lots of mounts coming up for you. We've got earring mounts, ring mounts. We've got all sorts of... We're, we, can, we can actually say we're mounting in this show. We are. Uh, but we're going to start not by mounting, but in fact with a metre by the look of chain. And this is good. Ooh, you stay on. Um, steady on. So we have got a metre of chain here in that beautiful antique bronze. I know that this will go with Kate's second kit really, really well. I think this is going to be a favourite of Gemma Crow if she's watching us. Do you know, I haven't seen much meterage of chain. Um, so this is a, a nice refreshing change. It's kind of hard to show you um, a meter of chain. I've accidentally knotted that, don't tell anyone. We're gonna give you a wonderful, wonderful price. Now you can cut this up to intersections, you can put it around cabochons, uh, but you're, you're paying under two pounds for this deal. Now please remember that uh, you can fill up your baskets with as much as you would like here at Jewelry Maker and it'll only cost you 3.95. That's a whole meter. So the price per meter is just 195 for antique bronze uh, chain. It's on brass. It's a curb chain, completely nickel free. Loads of you in for this one. By the way, we'd love to hear from you this evening. If you're, if you're jewelry making with us, uh, please send a text in 68777. Start your message with the word JM Studio. Um, Elizabeth has already um, messaged in. Uh, I want a gold workshop and a bag of goodies delivered today. Love to your... Elizabeth, yes! Well done. Was that our gift? Oh, well done! Mwah, mwah, mwah. Well done, Elizabeth. It was your lucky day. TLP063 is your item go for this one. Keep going for these because they are still available, but let's give you some colours. So this will go really nicely with the first kit. If you have a look at Katie's bezel setting with that uh, seed bead, have a look. Just have a think about the colours that are in there. And then I'm going to give you maybe something that you could make 
a ring out of. Because I don't think you necessarily make a ring out of those big cubes, but you would make a ring out of these. The gemstones match. So here you've got a little extra goodie for you. They're brilliant. I really like these. And I think if you've been learning to prong set today, you can prong set any of these. So you've got here uh, multicolored onyx. Onyx, there's a lot of myth and legend behind onyx, isn't there? Loads out there for you to see. Um, we got another message. Hello, everybody. I've got to look at it there. Well, now I know what I'm going to be doing this evening. It looks as though it's going to be a great show with some fab It is, it is. Don't you go anywhere, because if you do, I might die of loneliness. Uh, DN I won't actually die of it. DNN, I have got you guys here. Yes, yes, that was a bit deep, wasn't it? That was too deep. Sorry, Liz. I don't want to threaten you into watching us. Uh, £6.95 is your price. These are great colours. They are double drilled. You've got a top drill and a bottom drill. You're guaranteed five of these and you're guaranteed uh, the carrot weight. That means they're just £1.39 each and they're ready for wrapping. 0800 644 is the number to be calling. Jewelrymaker.com is the way to do it online. Everything you purchase from us comes with a 30-day, no questions asked, money-back guarantee. Uh, we're going to give you some gorgeous ametrine now, just because that's how we feel about life. I thought it was ametrine, actually. But it's, it's, it's just amethyst on its own, is it? It's beautiful. Well, I'd say, and I'm, uh, where's it from, first of all? But wouldn't you say that this one looks a bit ametrine-like? It's got the golden tone of ametrine. I'm not saying it isn't. Well, we're not going to give you the price of ametrine. You're going to get gorgeous amethyst. Here. Look, there's loads of pieces like that. Oh, look at that. Oh. 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 Amethyst. Uh, we learned some new things about amethyst, didn't we? Being apparently a gemstone worn by men of the cloth because it was said to stop them getting drunk. 695 MHK Y35. Our, um, our team, of our crew have decided to take it upon themselves to test that theory. They will get back to you on their findings. I don't think that means that you can invoice the bar tab to the company, but I'm not sure. Um, MHK Y35, £6.95. I mean, you're doing it for us. Yeah, that is quite selfless. So you are making... Mm. Jan, uh, you've got yours. Parvinda, Maureen, uh, loads of you. In fact, loads of you. They've, there's 250 carats. They're 10 millimeter rounds. You can put these in macrame bracelets. Simple stretches straight away. Really, really easy. Oh, crikey. Um, where, are we, where are we going, darling? Let's give you some sodalette. I love the colour blue and apparently blue is the world's favoured colour. It's a colour that can be worn by I think any skin tone. It's the best selling colour in the company as well. Well, jewellery makers know. I think it can be masculine or feminine. I think you could use this for any kind of uh, jewellery but you've got a lovely sparkly seed bead here in a genuine gemstone. We've got Sodalite for you. And we're going to give it to you at a remarkably low price. So this hour is going to be dedicated to incredible deals. And then, of course, we will saunter across to Katie and get making. And Katie's going to be making quite a lot. I have, I have it it's, uh, in, on good authority. VFN V02. So don't forget, your crafty makes are coming up in, an, in just under an hour's time. Let's give you some more fabulous. Oh, I really like these. They're very, very pretty. I absolutely adore the colours. I think you're going to love these. Um, it's called Snake Skin Jasper. It's Jasper and it just takes on the effect of snake skin. No actual snakes are in there, pretty certain. But what a lovely, cool blue. A real cool greeny blue. Um, just for me, a very earthy looking gemstone. I think, you think... It could be a very unisex piece. We've seen Katie use cubes to set here in the wire work. So you could replicate that, but with a different gemstone in a slightly larger size. You could do it. Do you know the great thing about a square like this is that you can just put one on a leather cord. They work really well in macrame bracelets. And I think chaps, ladies, I think we can all wear this gemstone. And I really adore the colours. I think this could be summery or autumnal. It's very pretty. I'm thinking of the, the alternate kit that we've got in the with the other kit. This one. The mookite one. Yeah. I think that's going to work really well. Pop with, it with yeah. the mookite. 
Yeah, that, yeah, that that's will work, work, Katie. Yeah. yeah. I love I love Mukai. Um, now we've got another message from uh, from Jilly Susie. What's it? It's not there. Good. I'm going to have to really strain. I'm so sorry for my straining face. Uh, good evening, Jenny, Katie, and all crew. Oh, and crew. I can't wait for wait for the demos by the fabulous Aww. Katie. Thank you. Love, Jilly Susie. What's it? Uh, and jo Josie. And Josie's not been well, so. Josie. Oh, you know Josie? Yeah. Who's Josie? Is she lovely? Uh, Josie is Jilly Sue's daughter. Oh, And her hi. husband's get Dave. Well soon, so if Josie. we get a message from Wavy Davey, we know that's. Uh, oh, that's them. Yeah. That's them. Well, get well soon messages coming to you, my ducks. Now, I really like that a lot. We're going to continue on. Oh, I've never seen these. Hmm, where are those Rodenite cabochons? I've got them. We've got these coming up as our first star by, which will go really well with this. And you've got Be bezel and prong setting day here, which has been a huge success here at Jewelry Maker. It's been a busy day, hasn't it? We've got more mount. Yes, we were talking about how we were going to get mounting. Um, I've got some mounts here, and I don't mean horses. Fetch me my mount. I love this one, look. And you can pop that, I really like that because I've got kind of a similar bracelet which I wear every day, I love it. That one's coming with black onyx. And it's such a crazy one for a brand new jewelry maker to do. What's your favorite? So Liam's favorite is the aquamarine earring. Oh yeah, I like those. Guess who's gonna be making herself some aquamarine earrings? Me, that's who. What have I got in now? Pearls, yeah. I did not rob them. This is, um, I am modelling them, actually. <laughs> How dare you. It's a perk of the job. If you worked in a fast food restaurant and didn't eat the fast food, you'd... You used to work at Alton Towers and what? And you never went on the rides. And you get discipline if you even pinched one chip. How stingy is that? What's F and B? Food and beverage. Oh, he's, he's abbreviated it to F and B. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, what's that? Oh, sorry, food and beverage to you. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, hi, can you tell me where I'll find the F and B? <laughs> no, because I don't know what on earth you're on about. Like, it says F and B. <laughs> Well, I don't want them to call you food and beverage. Your name's Liam and you work for the cafe, maybe. <laughs> Who says cafe? <laughs> That's as bad as F and B. F and B. Excuse me, where's your cafe? Sorry, love, you're in Alton Towers. <laughs> you might not have realised. Were you allowed to go on the rides for free? I used to love that ghost train. That girl used to sing, I know a do 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 do. And I used to be like, Ugh. Nursery rhymes, actually, Oliver, are usually supposed... Rockabye Baby? Ooh. That is yeah. pure evil. Ring a ring of roses, <gasps> about the plague. Three blind mice. Three blind mice. <gasps> Cut their tails off. Ooh. What kind of evil people were the Victorians? Yeah. yeah. Jack and Jill Jack would and smash Jill. Their, their skulls in, didn't they? <laughs> it's not funny, but, um, yeah, it's very creepy. I don't really, I'm not in for it. I mean, I'm all for Twinkle Little Star. That's okay. Ring of Roses is about the plague, so you might have been watching some old story about the, yeah. A tissue, a tissue, they all fall down. Um, anyway, let's not talk about... <laughs> disease-ridden countries, let's say, like, uh, like it, this was here. Um, let's talk about nice nursery rhymes. Hi, Wavy Davy. Hi, ladies. <laughs> as I got to mention, it seemed rude not to reply. Looking forward to a great show, as always. Thank you, Wavy Davy. Chips and gravy. I love these. They're so pretty. I didn't, um, I didn't talk to you about them at all. I do apologise massively, but they are just beautiful. Uh, Peter Sight. Peter. I like a little bit of Peter Sight. Do you? 
Um, I think they're quite masculine, and I also think they're quite autumnal. And I also think, as Katie quite rightly said about a, a strand earlier, these will go really nicely with the moo kite that's from yes. Mooga Creek in Australia. And the agate as well. I think they go really well with both of those kits. They do, don't they? Yeah. And they'll go really nice with this. <laughs> Look at that. It's beautiful. So let's talk about Peter's site. We have got here a really beautiful... Is that... Is that... Is that... Is that spelled right? Pierre to site? Pierre to site. I thought it was pizza site, but it is Pierre to site. So you've got the plain rounds, they're four millimeter. You can do some really nice weaves with a four mil, can't yeah, you, Kate? Yeah, it's a really kind of usable size. It, it, you can take it to just using quite daintily within your seed beads, maybe channel setting, but also you can make a beady bead and make it into a bigger bead. So mm -hmm. you, you've got more of an impact with it as well. I like them on the bead loom. I think they, they look really nice <gasps> rolled up like yeah. that, don't they? They're only six pounds and 95 pence. It's completely and utterly natural. Everything that comes through the door here at Jewelry Maker has been tested twice, so you know you're getting a genuine gemstone. Have a little search engine about Peter's site. There's lots that you can learn about it. Unfortunately, we don't have loads of time. Uh, it discharges negative energy. There we go. We're all feeling very positive, aren't we, this morning? Yes. No, because it's the evening. See, that's how positive I was. I thought it was the morning and it's the evening. It's because the sun came out before, wasn't it? It's been horrible all day. Yeah, and, and then the sun, the sun decided out. to make yeah. an appearance. Uh, now, where are we going, so duck? I keep calling people ducks. Is it annoying? Okay, it could be worse. Now, this is beautiful. Peach moonstone. If you love sunstone, you love... I, I love peach moonstone. We don't see a lot of it, do we? This is one of the birth gemstones of June. And moonstone has long... Uh, right, okay, so it's a, it's a gemstone associated with fertility. But also, if you look up the crystal healing properties of this, Liam, didn't you find something quite interesting? Didn't you find something quite interesting the other day? Was it the sexy time one? I think it's, um... I think it's associated with... I mean, I can't really... And when we talk about myths and legends and, and crystal healing, we're not saying that we believe these things and you should be believe them. We're just giving you an insight because a lot of you do um, do purchase here um, for those kinds of reasons. Um, yes, it's a gemstone of fertility and I think of attracting lovers or something like that, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There we have it. NQR U84, but it's not just about that. It's about how you can actually utilize this in your gorgeous jewelry. I think this will work really nicely with some cool colors like this. I like those combinations. It's quite summery if you can take it. Oh, nice. that's nice. It's lovely yeah, together, isn't it? It really like, freshens it up, doesn't it? I think so. But then you can make it a little bit more tribal and put it with that if you wanted to. We're going to do that, Anna's night now. We, let's do it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Everyone's uh, loving the Amazonites. It's a, a strong, striking colour. And I'll tell you something. When you've got a coin, if we have been talking about bezel setting today and prong setting, I think this is a really nice size. And because they've got the drill holes through the centre, you can utilise that with some fine wire but, and hold it down and then prong set over the top of it. Antique bronze wire would look good. Silver wire. I think pretty much anything. Oh, copper. copper. A little bit yeah, of copper. Antique bronze, definitely. Yeah. But like you say, very, very easy to set. And you've got that added security of that drill hole as well. And if you did prong set it into a ring, you get the bonus of having those facets. So you've yeah. got a nice lot of luster there. A little bit of sparkle. You could then make some matching earrings. Absolutely. Now... I am going to give you... Right, OK, I've got some J-hooks for you. So I was just trying to find them, and I was like, I can't find them. We've got the J-hooks that will go quite nicely with these. Look. It's nice, isn't it? 
It's a nice chunky J-hook, is that? Not to be argued with. $12.95, they're just like this price, not to be argued with. 108 carats of Amazonite. Should we have some should we have some properties of Amazonite as well? Um, these are natural. They're gorgeous. It's lovely that this gemstone comes out the ground like this, isn't it? Um, and there are lots and lots of tutorials on our website if you're just beginning. If you're going to make your first ever purchase, when you do that, you'll get a free Get Started DVD and two free strands that will be picked at random. They won't necessarily be the two strands that you can see on the screen there. They will be, um, they'll just be picked at random. This is a gemstone that's said to, um, said to rid you of stresses if you believe in myths and legends. Um, in the home and workplace, which are pretty much the two places that you get stresses. Yes. Aren't they, the home yeah. and the workplace? Yeah. C A R U A T T. You don't really get stresses elsewhere. Well, you probably do. Um, I know a few people who got allotments, and it just sounds like nothing but beef, which is funny because it's an allotment. Twelve ninety five. C A R U A T T. People trample on each other's carrots and everything. Let their dogs run for it. It's, it's mad. No, it's a truthemism, not a euphemism. A truthemism. Uh, let's give you those J hooks. <coughs> so. J hooks you can use, you can put this on a, right, so we, they're easy to manipulate. So what you would do is you get yourself a, a jump ring and you can J hook onto there. You can J hook straight onto something and use this bail um, to dangle a gemstone from. They're not for ear, not for earring hooks. I know that they look a similar, but if you look like that, so you could do it like that. If you wanted to, am I, is there something, is there another point to these? You literally, you could link them all together, Oliver, actually, and make a nice bracelet. But they are essentially great hooks for... And, oh, and you could put them onto macrame, couldn't you? you make a macrame loop. Yeah, yeah, no problem at all. You can macrame onto them and put a little macrame detail just on the front of it. On the front of the little hook part. It's nice to have findings like this because they're quite yes. hard to come by. Very, they're big, yeah. they're easy to manipulate, so you can open and close them nice and easily. Um, really, really easy. You could perhaps go to the side maybe if you wanted to as well. They're nice and strong. They are substantial. They look good in a string of pearls as well. Yes. They're only two ninety five, and you're actually purchasing 30 of them. So that's brilliant value, isn't it? What's that per one then? Nine pence. That's brilliant. That's it's a really brilliant. good price. Really good price. So we say it's copper plated. It'll be on a base metal, which is always, always nickel plated. Yeah, what can you get for nine? I don't think they do penny penny sweets anymore. No. None of them are one penny. Do you remember two jelly teddies for half a pen? Yes, I do. Those are the days. Those are the days. Yeah. RDA Z52. They're, uh, yeah, they're all young here. The youth. It's wasted on the young, isn't it? The uh, the youth. No. The youth. I absolutely love this colour. Have a look at that sparkle. This is my colour, this is. What a lovely green. Do you know, it's very Art Deco, that colour. There, it, that was used quite a lot in sort of lampshades, wasn't it, that kind of colour yes. in the Art Deco period, very 1920s. Very, very Art Deco. If you want to soften it, take something like a rose quartz, maybe an amethyst, and you can soften it like that. I'm just seeing if I've got anything sort of rosy. I don't think I've got anything rosy. You're getting two of these. This is chrysophrase. So again, a genuine gemstone strand. I think this would be nice. Just one of these in the middle of a pearl bracelet giving you that vibrance, that lovely pop of color. You could make something like the bracelet I've got on now. Actually, it goes quite nicely with the pinks that's in the bracelet. These beads are all available on our website. I'm just simply modeling, modeling them, yes. HWX C60 39.95 is your price, which works out that they're buy one get one free, because that's the price for one strand. 0800 644 655. Make it yours and make it quick. Christ the phrase. Let's have some healing facts about this, please, uh, because so it's completely natural, completely the same strand. Well, no, they're not the same but different. It's such a strong colour. If you can you imagine going into a mine where right so. Imagine yourself going into a mine and you've got this vibrant green. 
It's incredible, isn't it? It's amazing going into caves and stuff without anything, really. And then imagine if you were just surrounded yeah, by that. That'd be amazing. What's it like with the moonstone? Oh, now you're That's talking, nice. girl. Yes. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that, that too. That kind of keeps it vintage as well with the moonstone. It does, moonstone. doesn't it? Yeah. It's a balancing stone, which... Uh, promotes yin and yang energies if you believe in that kind of thing if you don't then it's a it's a genuine gemstone strand hwxc uh, something 60 <laughs> okay i'm trying to go fast <laughs> some hot pinks uh, we've all got that friend haven't we that loves a bit of hot pink this will go really nicely with our first kit won't it the cubes are ace, right? Um, so you've got some hot pink. What about... That was the sound of me stretching. What about this hot yellow? Hot yellow. That's quite an Indian combination, isn't it? Yeah. You think that's orange? I'd say that was yellow. I'd say it was yellow. I like that together. That looks like if it was a flavour, it'd be tangy and delicious. Mangoes. Mango and raspberries. Yeah. Mangoes and raspberries. Yeah. That's what it looks like. I really like that. I think it's quite a fun piece. I think you could make some uh, little girls' jewellery out of that. I think they'd really like it. Uh, it's genuine quartz. So let's do that hot mango. Well, it's called mango now. I've just renamed it. That is the exact colour of mango, isn't it? You want a mango? Yes. No. Mm, let's just have a look at this. That's really vintage there, isn't it? Like that a lot. But pop some blues in between. So here we have your mango quartzite. I've just renamed the gemstone. 295. It's genuine quartz. You've got 40 carats. BQP 082. If this is your first ever purchase, you'll make only one PMP price all day long. 395. Put the pink with the chrysophrase. What box was my chrysophrase in? Not that that means anything because, oh yeah, because I might not have put it back. Yeah, do you know what? I did actually think that. It does look amazing. That looks lovely. She's not wrong. Your one's not wrong. It's lovely, isn't it? Very Nina Rishi. Now, I'll tell you what, it's only half past clock. It's first uh, star by time. <laughs> I couldn't find them and now they're here, so everything's okay. Stop panicking, everyone. So we've got the Rhodonite cabochons here. And I love Rhodonite because it gives you such a strong colour. You've got a real, again, another strong raspberry tone coming through here. Zesty and, and beautiful. Very feminine, but a dark pink. This would go really nicely with the top you're wearing here, yes. Katie. Yes, really would. beautiful with dark, deep greens. I think... The temptation is to prong set these, would you say, Katie? Yeah, yeah because you don't want to cover up any of that beautiful colour or the, the patination in them. Yeah, definitely. You want to prong set them with as little prongs as possible, I would say. So what colour would you use wire-wise? Oh, I think I'd probably go copper. Copper or mm -hmm. antique bronze. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Both of which are available on our website. So you get the three cabochons, you're guaranteed 90 carats. That you might get four, you might get two, you might get one massive 90 character. ZRV R95, 100% natural. Let's have a little, uh, let's have some, because imagine wearing this. Let's, let's think about the benefits. See, here's another variation for you. That's two, one really big one and then one medium one. Uh, Rhodonite has got this incredible depth to it and the matrix within the gemstone means that no two will ever be the same it's very difficult to get two very similar ones indeed so embrace that use these individually it's said to be a stone of power
and it's uh, said to strengthen vita vitality and gives a calming heart mm -hmm. against negative emotions. We could all do with that. So there's lots that you can download about this gemstone. ZRV R95. 90 carats for 14.95. There's your star by price. Uh, but don't forget, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee on everything. And that 1 PMP, we are very, very busy. If you've been prong setting today, here's another wonderful, wonderful opportunity for you to grab yours. Uh, maybe you've been being inspired, left, right, and center from all of our fabulous guests. If you've never, and the thing about a cabochon is, they're very forgiving, aren't they? You can seed bead around them. You can yes. put these onto a backing foundation and you can use jewelry glue and keep them in place. You can push them into polymer clay. You can use these in so many ways. Great for those that are working with precious metals clays oh amazing amazing do you ever do that do you ever use precious metals? i haven't I haven't it's, no it's something i definitely want to go into because it's, it looks absolutely stunning do you know it's it is a great thing to do and it's easy yeah. it's a yeah. lot easier than you think 14.95 for your road tonight so you've got 90 carats now we're going to continue on we're going to leave those with you there's still some available uh, but we are going to give you now some more cabochons of a different color these actually will go really well together with your road tonight we we're talking about the green going um, with that and I'm just going to show you an example of that so we've got a real deep green here don't these go really well together so what I'm going to give you and actually you've got some more some different shades you can see the formation here in this agate so it's moss agate it's a lovely blue green isn't it really earthy this really, one really really earthy really beautiful it's one of those that you kind of get lost inside because you're looking inside and seeing all them beautiful details that was it's, gorgeous isn't it i was just thinking that you see sort of trees yeah. and there's a mermaid just swimming along it's almost like green ink dropped in water isn't it yeah it's yeah. really artistic but these are totally natural totally natural this came out of the look did you see the blue these are fabulous, you know. Look at the blue. Oh, we've got a square one. We don't often get squares, do we? Oh, I love that one. That's lovely. And we've got, got, we got a pillow here. Thing. Yes, these are lovely, aren't they? Look how many you get. Guaranteed 244 carats. And you are getting, I've got here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. £2.13 each. £2.13 each. Have you found it hard to get genuine gemstone cabochons outside of jewellery maker, Katie? Yes, yeah, definitely. I have bought them before when, when we haven't had the, uh, certain gemstones. For example, at the Peter site, I bought a small cabochon in Peter site uh, probably about a year ago and I had to pay about £30, £36, I think it was, and it's tiny. No, so the grand one you get can. Is absolutely amazing. You can always sell all of your jewellery on. Anything you make or anything you buy, you can separate and sell if you want. We're not, we're not telling you you can't do that. It's absolutely accessible to you to do that. YFRU07, £14.95. Uh, loads of you in for this one. Do please make sure you're checking out baskets. Huge percentage of the stock of this one has now gone. Let's give you some more. Oh, I love these. Let's give you the power shell cabs. So, abalone power shell, you have to free dive to get this, don't you? These are huge chunks. Oh my gosh, this would be amazing on a belt. Look at, look how big this is. Wow. How cool is that? So this is power shell, which is found, it's New Zealand, isn't it? And you have to free dive for it. You can't, you have to free dive for power shell. And we used to joke that only men wearing G-strings, but that's not true, actually. It's not <laughs> actually true. It turned out to be a joke, which I was really <laughs> disappointed about because I would thoroughly signed myself up for that long plane jet. Not really. These are amazing. Do you like oh, power shell kitty? Yeah, I, I've had these in a kit before. They're absolutely amazing. Really easy to work with as well because of the edge that you've got there. So especially for oh, yes, setting, show that. you've got a really good edge to kind of grab your gemstone so that it's not domed, it's kind of got that side to mm. it. Because so ordinarily you'd have a very thin piece because actually the power shell is the thin layer yes. on the top. It's quite um, it's quite remarkable that you're getting such a thickness around the edges. This, this means we can sue touch them. You can actually yeah. see where they've been bonded to to the base gem there, or the base 
um, you've got that, oh, I love that piece. That's lush, oh, isn't yes. it? But you've got that lovely flat base or back. It's nice, that, very, it's gorgeous, isn't it? For $14.95, you can't argue with that. Let's continue on. And this time, let's give you a gemstone that will go with pretty much anything. So this gemstone takes on a lot of different forms because it can be dyed really, really easily. Look at the matrix of these. So howlite, actually, so this is white howlite. So this is totally natural. This is how howlite is. Now, a lot of the turquoise out there in the market is actually dyed howlite. That's the thing. Um, and, and it's not often, to, often it's not until it's tested that you realize what you've got. I love this sort of Fabergé egg finish on these, but I think there's definitely a, a push with, uh, for monochromes in the, um, in the in the autumn and the winter so i think this is going to be a great one for the, for your autumn winter collection if you're going for the monochrome look five pound 95 that is an incredible in fact that's the sale price that we're price. honoring so just get them because they just work so well in so many different they ways are. don't and they it's just one of those you're going to need in your stash you're going to need those monochrome looks all the time look at that gorgeous now, I've got something very curious that I've never seen before. Oh, I've got, is it this one? Yeah, I've got it here, right. I thought that this was malachite. And then it, I was told it wasn't, so I thought, well, is it, is it emerald? I've never heard of this gemstone before, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, but I love it. It's called Morsitsit. It's incredibly rare. Now, we've got some information on this, which I'd not heard of it before. And look, don't you think it takes on the properties of a Colombian emerald with that striking colour? Yeah. Malachite, we know when it gives us this um, colour, it, it, it's, it's extremely expensive. So this is f found in northern Burma, which my <laughs> producer just called Boona, uh, but I think he meant Burma. Did you mean, did you mean Burma? Yeah, um, so it's found in, in Burma, and it's a, it's a gemstone that actually is, is hard to locate, isn't it? Now, who was the chap that discovered this? His name was Edward. Edward Gubelin. And uh, he discovered this quite by accident, but it is 100% natural as far as gemstone discoveries go this is very very recent it was found in the foothills of the himalayas in 1963 um it's 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 a great find it's a wonderful gemstone for us to have it's an absolute rarity and a total delight we only have 16 of these this is a more sit sit have you ever seen this gemstone i haven't it's absolutely stunning the color's amazing the color's so it. vibrant green's my favorite color mine too yeah yeah so i love my malachites my emeralds my chrome dioxide this is so beautiful it is so, isn't so it? beautiful if you love emeralds and chrome dioxide you will love this if you love rare gemstones you will love this if you love something natural in your collection you will love this you've got 30 carats these are ready to put in rings i think you want to see these maybe they're going in a bangle yes yeah you'd want to be looking at that all day wouldn't you definitely now these have retailed at over 100 pounds here at jewelry maker we never have hardly any of these we have only got a very small number we've only got 12 now actually There is a piece of rough, a small piece of rough online for £162, a small, small piece. Should we give you the whole strand for less than that? I think we should. Maybe you've been looking for this gemstone. Maybe you are a rare gemstone collector. Then we definitely got something for you here at £49.95. Wow. Yes, we do take debit cards. Yes, we do take credit cards. You can even shop with pay. How? 0800 is the number to be calling. Jewelrymaker.com is where it's at. Or you can be tapping the app. Get it home. Have it valued, maybe. Use that 30-day money-back guarantee. I think you'll be smiling if you go and get this valued. Now, if you're going to do that, I would recommend that you pay the extra 25 pence for the authenticity card. If you don't want to do that and you've got a printer at home, print it off for free. 
totally do that. 0800 644 655 TUJ. N53 is your item code. We are running out of stock of this. They're between 10 and 8 and 3 by 11. We are really, 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 really limited stock. We have now only got five remaining. Uh, stay on those phone line queues. Keep this in your basket. Check it out. Check it out. Now, Stay with us because very shortly we will be going into those fabulous demos. So, Katie, uh, let's give you first. Oh, I love this. This is so pretty. Look at this rose this light garnet. Sparkle. Look how sparkly. And how well will it go with the pendants? Oh, beautiful. That just works, doesn't it? Road night for road night. That's good. Is that the road of crow sight, actually, isn't it? Yeah. These are genuine rhodonite garnet. They're microfaceted and they are that pomegranate seed colour. Look at them. They're so fabulous. They're so polished, so sparkly. It looks like it can't possibly be natural. It totally is. One of January's birth gemstones. Look at these. Is it what? This is the heartbeat of India is garnet, isn't it? That's what they call it. Stunning. Look at that sparkle. I love these. These I don't want to wear these in a bracelet, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I've actually recently discovered that our elasticity 0.5 elastic goes through microfaceted faceted gemstones. So we would you use stretches. a needle with it? Um I just I actually used a magnifying glass. And just, and just it straight just, through. Yeah, just threaded straight through. Fair play. So you can make stretches of of microfaceted gemstones. I actually look, I know it's controversial, but it works. Oh, I like. I like that. I like it, like it, like it. Oh, do we just keep on coming out with the bangers here? Look at what I've got for you. Now, I think there's a few rubies in here. This is a pink sapphire strand, but I'd argue, yeah. look, that's ruby, isn't it? If, to call it ruby, they'd all have to be deep red. Whereas you've got, I'd say you've got a mix of sapphire and ruby here. You get every colour of sapphire, can't you? But as soon as um, pink sapphire gets deeper and deeper, it then becomes a ruby. It's totally natural. There's no treatment on this, which is such a nice thing to know because a lot of pink sapphires on the market actually are, are treated. So this is September's birth gemstone and it's only 17.95 for 40 carats of pink sapphire. That's incredibly priced. I love that you're getting this incredible deal. And you know what, if you want to make that special piece of jewellery, then here's the gemstone you can do it with. It's so pretty. Yeah, absolutely. And the fact that it's natural, that's absolutely fantastic. So yeah. there's a big market for people looking for natural gemstone jewellery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is. Yeah. There, and, and especially now we can utilise the web. We can put our makes out there for sale on the web with all the information. People can then go and search for it and yeah. find you. Don't worry, we will be mounting in about 15 minutes time. I'm booted up and ready to mount. Uh, now, Chris is looking forward to it. Are you, Chris? Good. Now, we'll give you some ruby. J.K. Rowling described her friends as as precious as rubies in a speech that she uh, she made. You've got plain rondelles here of 25 carats, but we're arguing that looks more than uh, 25 carats, doesn't it? They're big rubies, they're beautiful. I love the fact that you've got a smooth rondelle here. Yeah, there's nowhere to hide. You can just see that beautiful, beautiful colour. I think it'd look really nice with that sparkly sapphire that we had earlier on. Look, it would go really nicely with these. Look at these tubes. Oh yeah. That goes so pretty, doesn't it? XPG Z93 is your item code. We're gonna give you the aquamarine in just a second. 0800 at six triple four six double five. We're going under 20 pounds for these sapphires. They are gorgeous, so do not miss this deal. 
so pretty at 19.95. This is for you if you want to make something very special, perhaps get your jewelry um, valued, knowing that you've got the content yes. there. Mix it with the pearls you got from Vintage Weekend. That would oh, be a glorious wow. idea. One in between each pearl looks oh, so regal. Yeah. Classic. Oh, gorgeous. 19.95. You only need to use, I mean, you only need to put three in the center if you want to. Nobody's saying you've got to use the whole strand. You can eke this out for the next couple of years if you want to. You absolutely can. You've got the graduations there. Let's have a look at the graduations, in fact, indeed. You can see them, can't you? So I'm going to give you one more. Ah, now, if you bought the first star by, these go very, very, very well indeed with those. Look at the sheer size of these. Ooh, hoo. Ready to prom set, uh, Katie likes oh, those, yes. don't you? They're wow. massive. Look at the size of these. Wow, that carrot weight is amazing. It's immense, isn't it? Yeah. Totally natural. Oh, I really like these. So you've got your Rhodonite multi-shape there. If you bought the star by earlier, they will go with those. Put them in a basket with them. They're only $17.95. Well, I never. I think those be I think that would make a beautiful, beautiful brooch, that one. Yes. It's a great shape, isn't it? I'm gonna show you the back. So this isn't totally you're not you're guaranteed the carrot weight rather than the shapes I'm showing you. Whoops. We try and give you a good mix though. We do try and give you a good mix. Beautiful colour, isn't it? Like a rhubarb yeah. red. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'd love to see that maybe in a cuff bracelet. Quite a yeah. thick, quite a, a wide cuff. Yeah, it'd be nice and, and striking, wouldn't it? MUV P29. But without further ado, we're going to give you what you've been asking for and what I've been wanting to steal. It's time for our next star buy. <laughs> We're about to give you the prettiest, prettiest set of genuine aquamarines to set into the earring mounts that I've got. Yeah, we need the gem grabber if I can get them, if I can get you one. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, darling, Dan. Right, I'm going to grab those. Aquamarines were the first gemstones, apparently to be set into engagement rings and were, uh, were popular way before the diamond took over. You get two beautiful aquamarines because you get a pair of earrings, of course, and you get them. So there's the aquamarines. I'm just showing them to you on a gem um, grabber. And these will fit into your sterling silver findings. Now these aquamarines have exceptional clarity. Aquamarine is a gemstone said to reignite the flames of love and said to bind a marriage. Uh, there are There is a heavy association with um, everlasting love and aquamarine if you're into that kind of myth and legend. Now you'll notice that incredible setting so that you get it to drop just below the ear the aquamarines stand proud. Can you sell these once you make them? Yes, you can. They are hallmarked 925 solid sterling silver. And you can, of course, have that uh, certificate of authenticity that goes with the aquamarines. If you went into a jeweler's and you saw aquamarine of this quality, of this clarity, I don't think you'd be surprised to see them around 69.99 yeah exactly. that would be exactly. that would be a high street jewelers yeah. um, which maybe you wouldn't even have this kind of i think probably maybe even more yeah for the size of the yeah definitely well the clarity as well yeah. this clarity is look at the glow from these they're beautiful they're they're a fine fine example of what an aquamarine should look that like they're six by four millimeters and they're 40 carat uh, 0.4 carats each you get the pair. You get over a gram of sterling silver. 49.95. 
is where we should be finishing on this, but we're not. We're going to give you a better price because we want to give you the opportunity to sell or make and give very high-end jewellery that you've made yourself. We have the pushing tool. We have all of the tools for you on the website. Go and have a look at the gem setting tools. Something like this would be easy. Sterling silver, you can just manipulate that over and make that claw stay. For £23.95, if you are making to sell, you're going to be selling at a profit, I think, don't you? CRPK80 is your item code. Poppy has written in to ask about the gem grabber. The gem grabber is in the toolkit. We do have it on the show for you. Thank you, darling. So it's on the mid show, it's on the website. You've got the, so this thing here, this contraption here, will hold on to the jewelry that you're setting onto. Uh, you've got the pusher, which is here. So you literally just push. The whole thing's 1995. You push your silver prongs together. You've got everything here to clasp and grasp your um your prong setting get on the on the website it's, it's under 20 pounds that was brilliant price it's on the bottom of your screen right now or in a minute 23.95 loads of you in for this it's amazing to have your company we are so excited for our first making hour at seven o'clock where we are going to have the kit that you've all been asking for. We're going to have a giveaway as well from Katie. Um, we've got two giveaways, one from each kit. And I tell you what, all you've got to do is purchase the kit to be in with a chance of winning this incredible piece of jewellery. It is just stunning, isn't it just? That's coming up straight after a break. Uh, Kate is going to be doing loads and loads of inspiring makes. We've got lots of mounts. We've got lots of loose gemstones. We've got absolutely loads. Gem setting tool on the bottom of your screen. It's 1995 and it's ready to become yours. While it's in stock, do get that. Even if you're thinking, shall I, shall I do this? It's, it's a, such a wonderful thing to be able to do. Uh, so maybe this is the first ever gorgeous gemstone setting you've done. Genuine gem set, setting. March's birth gemstone, aquamarine. CRPK80 is your item code. Solid sterling silver too. It makes just so much sense, doesn't it, to get those. You'd pay that alone for one of the aquamarines. So well done to everybody that got theirs. There's still some available, not loads, but some available. Uh, get yourself onto the website to have a look at all of the goodies that we had in this hour if you've just joined us. Maybe you've just had your dinner and you're thinking, right, Kate is about to come on. Get yourself ready to learn. Remember that every show we do here at Jewelry Maker goes over onto our Jewelry Maker page on YouTube. Subscribe to that and then you'll get updates when everything, whenever something new is coming up. We've got a really, really exciting evening show lined up for you. Don't go anywhere because we are loving your company here this evening here at Jewelry Maker. We'll see you in a tick. <music> At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. This Friday coming up, uh, it's your deal of the day is an amazing gemstone, Marie. Yes. It's phosphosiderite. I have to say, this is an unusual one for me. I love the colour, though. What? Tell us a bit about it. Well, it's a beautiful colour. Mm. Really, really unusual. I can't think of anything else that comes about opaque with the veins. No, it's um, gorgeous. It grows in a botryoidal form, so similar to malachite. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, and quite an unusual uh, material. So we thought we'd bring it to you for a deal of the day. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, it's coming up this Friday, 11 o'clock. It's your deal of the day. I can't wait. It's absolutely stunning. Hello, everyone. It's Mark here with some news of an up-and-coming show. Join myself and present Carol on the morning show on September the 25th. And myself and presenter Hannah on the mid-show on the 25th 
and myself and Zena on the Late Show on the 25th. That's right, you've got me all day. We're having a Mark Smith day on Wednesday the 25th of September. So in the morning show, Carol and I are going to be showcasing chips, nuggets and macrame, two of my favourite uh, mediums. And then on the mid-show, this is going to be amazing. We have got brand new relaunch, new products. We're going to introduce you again to the world of Paracord. Brand new colours, brand new tools, even the DVDs are back. And then the late show, a bit self-indulgent, one of my other passions, beaded kumahimo. So we're going to be doing a back to basics show, telling you all about the, the setting up of the discs, finishing, putting clasps on, and how to incorporate beads in your work. So that's Mark Smith Day, Wednesday the 25th of September, the morning, the mid, and the late show. There's lots of other surprises, I'm sure. We'll look forward to seeing you then. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Please welcome Katie to the making table. Katie, yeah. it's amazing to have you here. Thank you. It's great to be back again. Your kits are fab. I saw your jewellery last week and I thought it was absolutely insane. You're wonderful. You. For anybody that's never seen you before, talk to us about your jewellery making background. How long have you been doing this um, for? I've been doing this for almost six years now. So I found, I actually started jewellery making from finding jewellery making. Brilliant. Jewel that's how we like here. it. Yeah. So, so I was just telling you earlier, one of the first shows I watched was, was actually you. I apologise for that. No, you got me hooked. So no, it's fine. Yeah. yeah so, so I got jewellery making and thought I'd have a go at wire work. Absolutely loved it. And it just progressed from there to seed beads and, and such and lots of other little different mediums. And uh, three years ago, just over three years ago, I started working here. Did you send some stuff in and say, yeah, look at me, I, I'm brilliant? I, I, I actually came to, we had a uh, summer party, summer garden party. Yeah, yeah. And I met Claire and Mark and a few of the others, and they all kind of encouraged me to just, you know, just apply, see what happened. So I did, and then weeks later, I was sat here. Crazy. How exciting. Now, you're going to show us. We're going to have a look at the first kit, but we have got the Pyote, um, the Pyote tools, which are great. Yes. Really easy to use. So you're going to be using those. And when you use those, uh, the Quick Start Pyote, uh, we'll be popping the details up on your screen. We've got lots more of the uh, prong setting for you. We've got some big fat cubes for you. But let's start with this kit. Now, if you purchase the first kit, you will be in with a chance of winning Katie's Showstopper necklace. This is an absolute jaw dropper you're gonna love it now you're getting the earrings that go with it too and all you've got to do is purchase the kit everybody that does will be put into a big bowl of random and we'll pick a, a, a name at random you won't personally be put into a bowl of random so don't worry it won't be like just be your name okay so don't worry about that now you are getting in this kit some 10 pound fire line yes which is what you've used um, throughout the pieces so the fire line is there to help you stitch. You can use a beading needle if you wish. It does make your life a lot easier. Yes. Um, what size beading needle have you used? Um, just I've instantly? used, um, some of them have used a 10, some have used a 12, but it, it, it works with, with both, absolutely. If you've got your 10 pound weight. So when you're working with things like, like an agate, like a heavier gemstone, you need a really strong... Does um, that mean it will accommodate so it 10 that, pounds yes, in so weight? Yes, you could hang 10 pounds and it wouldn't, it wouldn't snap. My first born child was 10 pound four. Oh, wow. 
She was a, <laughs> yeah, she was a massive one. So that's quite a lot of weight, yeah. let me tell you. I don't know how I carried that weight, <laughs> let alone this fire line. Now, you've also got these cubes, which I know you're, oh, a, you're a massive fan of. They feel great against the skin. Everybody is waxing lyrical about these being awesome. They're fab. Look at them. Look at the color. They're vibrant. The edges are great. You have got here multicolored agate. But look at the seed beads that go with. So they've been really well picked to give you that combination. Now, I don't know about anybody else, but I find it very difficult to put colors together confidently. So the great thing about buying a kit is it's all been done for you. You know that our expert kit makers have put these colors together knowing that they go because that's their job and if they didn't do it properly i'd be in there calling them out for it i go oi kit makers no uh, qvx c41 is your item code you have got a huge carrot weight and then i've got these seed beads here so you have got black 11 o's hot pink eight o's and your turquoise eight o's they're brilliant, yeah. aren't they? QVX C41. A fantastic kit. Going at a fantastically low price. Under £30 for this. You're going ever such a lot. That fire line's going to last a long yeah, time. That fire line is quite expensive to buy as well. It is, yeah. 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 Well, outside a jewellery maker well, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. And you do have to... Listen, when you need it, you need it. We've all been into Bobby Shaft and got things yes. we've had to get. Yeah. Well, a shop that rhymes with Bobby Shaft. <laughs> I haven't gone into Bobby Shaft. That would hurt him. Uh, now, £27.95. 0800 is only £27.95. Don't forget, everybody that's getting this gorgeous kit also gets a chance to be in with a win. I love bit having a chance to be in with a win. It's fabulous. So... Let's uh, let's start at the very beginning, shall we? Yes, what are you so going to show us? Now, I know you've got some cubes, so when so you start using those, we're going to give you an alternative. Yeah, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how I made that, that statement pendant. So, and it was it's a really basic peyote, but then I've used it to bezel it, and then I'm also going to show you how to kind of get the gemstones to stay together in the first place. Okay. Righty ho. So it's going to be broke, broken down into, into parts. Okay. Fabulous, yes. So, so the main basis of this, the stitch I've used is called peyote. And I'm going to be using one of these peyote quick start pieces to, uh, to create our peyote strip. We've got these, I'm very proud. Yes. Uh, now these do sell out very quickly indeed. Yes. I've never seen these before, so I'm quite excited to see exactly how we utilize them. Now when Katie used, oh, we've got the agate cubes. So we've got bigger cubes because it's easier for Katie to show you with bigger cubes. Um, well, they're both easy to use because yeah, the edges, yeah, because aren't I they? Yeah, I used the black size 11s. I thought, with, when I saw these, I thought, gosh, that's going to be an amazing monochrome look there. Mm -hmm. So, and to be able to mix them with your, your pop of colours as well, I think that's going to work perfectly. They're great, aren't they? So they're 12 .95. Now, when Katie comes to use these, we'll put them up on your screen. Don't worry. Okay, we're sitting back. We're relaxing. Take it away, Katie. Okay, so when you get your piece of paper, um, it's going to be flat, like so. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to fold it in, in half. It's very easy to fold it in half, just perfectly fold it in half. And all the instructions. Oh, it's like yeah, a, it's it's like a, a strong laminated thing. paper. Yeah. It's really, really strong. So on the back here, all your instructions are there. Great. It's, it's literally foolproof. Okay. okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your thread and pop a stop bead on. So that's, I'm just using any color stop bead. So a stop bead is where we pass through the same bead twice and create tail up on the side so that's what you're going to finish off your piece with and that's where your beads are going to stop there mm -hmm. okay? okay so what you're going to do is you're going to come through you can work left or right here as well because it's it's got a hole on both sides so i'm going to work on oh, the right you come side up through there. yeah so you're going to come up through this hole here there's a little hole at the side and you get more than one in each pack you get you? Three. three and to be mm. honest i this i had to open this packet this morning but i have another packet and i've only actually ever used one from the other packet and i must have so used you reuse them so many times oh brilliant. yeah i'm going to show you how to take it off the card as well without having to because you kind of panic well i'm gonna to have to cut that off and that's a waste or something but no you don't have to cut it off at all great okay so my stop bead is on the inside here mm -hmm. okay now i'm going to come back down through this first little hole so if i just open it out there so there's one that's just a little hole there. I'm going to come back down there. So this is all to start it off. I'm going to come back down there and then up 
through this first part where your bead is going to sit. Yeah? Easy. So as easy as that, and like I say, it's full instructions on the on the um, the card that you get with it, and it's got picture instructions as well, which is even easier. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start picking up beads. So I'm using size 11s. I'm using gold just because it's easier for you to see than black seed beads, okay? Yes. But we will be using black seed beads in a moment. So all we're going to do is pick up a seed bead on our needle and thread through the next little part and up into the next hole like so and that Ooh. bead will just sit really perfectly in there so this is the size 11 size so this will fit size 11 seed beads and 11 delicas and we're going to thread another one through like so and another one through now to make this the bezel easy. super super easy normally you would be holding it and you be all fingers and thumbs and trying to get it get it to sit right now you can make it right up to to this size here mm -hmm. okay for my little section that i i'm making for this i only need to add three on this first one okay so i've got because i'm going to have six oh, you're going for the width rather than so the length this, this is going for the width okay, okay? so i'm going to so work make a bracelet on this yeah you can make a bracelet this wide and once you get Cuff. get started because it's like it's like anything with chain mail yeah it's yeah. that first bit you kind of need something to hold so this is giving really? you the option to, to really relax invention. and just be able to hold it because normally you would be kind of you'd have a little section like mm, this and yeah. you'd be holding it and everything would be really tight together and actually you, you t you're tense then yeah i can put it down it's not a problem yeah you want to you know. be relaxed yeah it's relaxed. relaxed okay so to come back down I'm just going to pick up a seed bead and instead of using the holes this time I'm going to come through the seed bead so that one's going to sit there really nicely pick up a bead through the seed bead pick up a bead and through the last seed bead okay and they're just going to sit perfectly together okay and then all you're going to do is Pick up the next seed bead, go through the next sticky out bead, that's what we like to call them. Pick up a seed bead, through the next sticky out seed bead. And another one, and through the next one. So start, everybody worries about starting peyote because this is the hardest bit, this tiny bit at the very beginning where it's very hard to kind of keep hold of everything, especially mm. if you're not used to it. So this just takes all the stress out of it because you've just literally got something to hold. Like so, and it just builds up and up and up. So I'll just go this back This is up brilliant. To the top it's again. like sewing, but yeah. easier. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit like when you first use a bead loom there mm. and you think, gosh, that's so easy. This is, yeah. I love so this. Kind of, I pulled that a little bit tight there and it kind of pulled out a little bit. Yeah. So this is out. So what I'm going to do is just grab that first bead at the bottom there, give it a little tug. Tug to behave. And then be, tell, ask it to behave and it's back in line again so just watch as, as you're working your way along if you just pull it out of line a bit just encourage it to behave this is it, you know if you're not a beader and you're scared of beading yeah. you have to have these they're just yeah. fabulous so three just, to the pack yeah so with Brilliant. this one with size 11s i think we've got mm. the size 8 one as well yeah so you could just literally make yourself a piote bracelet with no problems oh, i think this whatsoever. is so fantastic the only bit that people find to be a problem is this first piece this first little bit but i thought that was easy yeah now i love it now obviously you would do a lot further than yeah. this now when it comes to taking it off the car well, i was wondering yeah and I'm, to be honest, I wondered that the first time. I was thinking, how am I going to get that off? You know, I'm going to have to cut it. Is it going to be a waste? Yeah, Anybody, I just thought cut I've it. I've only got three in the packet, so, but don't worry. So you're just going to open it up. Yeah. So you're looking on the inside of it. Are you going to remove the stop bead? Yeah. Okay. Oh, is it all going to go flooding? No. So, and then all you're going to do is catch these little bridges that are underneath here. So these little pieces of thread. Yeah. Oh. Pull that one through. I panicked the first oh, no, time no, I did no, this. Oh, no, 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 you're going to unravel it all. No, 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 no. How are you not? Pull that through. How are you not unraveling? Ta-da! Oh it's my all, God. It's, I don't yeah. understand how that no, happened. No, it's all, in, it's all still in place. How brilliant. Yeah, so that's oh. exactly... <laughs> so. I thought that was all going to yeah, come apart. I must admit, I did it the first time, and then I was like, but oh, how did no, it come no. apart? But no, no. When, once you've done it a few times, you're like, no, it's going to be fine. Beading wizardry. It. Yeah. Yeah, so that is how you do your basic peyote. Brilliant, and you can do a whole bracelet out of yeah. that. Yeah, so let's move that to one side. 
Okay, so for the, this pendant, I'm going to do, I'm just going to do three beads because I ch we decided to change to these uh, beautiful monochrome looking ones. So I'm only going to do three because I, I didn't have time to do the, the whole length. So what you would do is you need to piote a length that wow. will go all the way around like so. Fantastic. Yeah? But you've yeah. also got to allow for your little bale piece as well. So I did a little bale. So it's all it is is a bale that's it's just POC and I've just joined it together and that's going to sit at the top there. Right, so, Katie. Okay. Great. So just again, I'm just going to use a different colour CB just so you can see exactly what I'm doing just for a moment. And the, I've used the slightly larger ones just literally because it's easier to see. Okay. Yeah. So when we join together, um, we join together by kind of zipping it together. Mm -hmm. So using the opposite beads. So you need to make sure that you finish whatever length strip you've made with your tail at one side and the working strand at the other. So okay. that means that you've completed the rows and your seat beads will be opposite to each other to, to create the little zip effect. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's going in that bit because it dips in. Yeah. So yeah. that's why okay. I've, added, I've added the different colours just so that you can see it a little bit. And better. actually that made it very clear doing yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. So if I pop this and fold this together, I know I'm exiting here. So I'm going to pop my needle through this turquoise one here at this side. And the opposite one to that is going to be a pink. Okay, you don't need to pull it too too tight just to start with. And then through the turquoise. In fact, you can actually usually get through both at the same time. So through the turquoise, through the pink. So my thread is kind of zigzagging through. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then through those last two. Like so. And then this will, if I just give that a little tug, that's it zigzag, zigzag together. And then just to finish that off, you just pull the the uh, stop bead that you originally started with out of the way a little bit. And then you would zigzag your way back down. So you would go through this bead here, or which, whichever side you want to, just so that you're finishing your thread off. And just pull that thread out of the way. And just making sure that you're zigzagging down. And through this one. So you don't have to go down the exact same part. But what I would do is I'd zigzag down a couple of times. But I'm going to do this again in a second when we join our main piece together. So that's basically how you would do it. So you're following the pattern and zigzagging down. So that's why we call it zipping together because mm -hmm. they kind of fit. It's kind of like teeth fitting together. Yeah. Okay. Great. So, so before we actually pop the um, bezel around, what we need to do is kind of secure this in a little bit. Yeah. Because there are they are gemstones and they, they are beautifully polished and they're a little bit slippy together and things. So what we need to do is take a length of thread, and we're going to just kind of sew them together. Okay. To because they've got drill stay. holes in them, so you can. Got drill holes through them. So we're going to go through this one, this one, this one. Obviously. On the longer one, it was a little bit more kind of fiddly to do, but it, it's perfectly doable. It's just sewing them together. So we're going to come through all the way, leaving a bit of a tail at one side because we're going to sew it into to secure it at the other, at the other side. And then we're going to come back through all of our beads again. And through. So we're going to, this thread's going to lay at the side, so you're never going to see this. This is going to come back through down this side like so. So bringing all those together and then maybe you just go once more at each side just for extra security that's all it's for. Just to make them behave. Yeah, just wiggle that through. Where are you? There it is. That's through and we just need that tail at each side to work in it when we finish. That one at that side and this one this side. So I've just got two pieces of thread down each side just for extra security. That's going nowhere. Yeah, so that's fine. It's not tied or anything, it's not knotted, but it's just just to kind of keep it together. Okay. So so there's gonna be a lot of threads going on here in a second, so just excuse me if I get a little bit muddly. Okay, so we want to thread our little bale mm. onto here. I like that. It's like a little sleeve. Yeah. So that's going to sit on top there. You're very clever, Katie. Thank you. Okay. Did you just 
Did you write this down just to make it up as you went along? I literally, everything I make, I make up as I go along. She's one of those, everyone. <laughs> yeah. So one of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this top thread through in between there and just through everything, and obviously not through the very top here. So, and all that's doing is just going to sit there at the top there. Okay, so I'm going to mm -hmm. sew that in at the very end. It doesn't matter if it doesn't meet perfectly at the bottom. It doesn't matter exactly where it meets. Okay, like so. So I know it's going to meet together right at the bottom there. Okay. Now, just for extra security, my little secret weapon that I use in all sorts of things is a little bit of a um, double-sided sticky tape. Oh, and now what kind have yeah. you got? So oh, it's, yeah. um, I don't know. It's like a Galago tape. You could well, use I'm a not, red liner. I'm not a connoisseur of tapes. A red line is a, an instant, really, yeah. really strong stick. A yeah. tissue tape this just is gives quite you low. Of a... It's quite low tack. Oh, so it's like so, a tissue tape, yeah. is it? So I'm just going to pop a little bit on each side, and all it's going to do is just hold it in place. For you. It's not going to be seen. It's you know, it doesn't matter. I've done this before when I've um, beaded around gemstones. Mm. So if I've, I've beaded like fully around gemstones, just to hold things in place just makes life easier for you. There's loads out there on the market, yeah. double-sided sticky tapes, but I, I'd use a red liner if you can get hold of one for the yeah. strength. So it's hard to whip off. Yeah. So just taking a little bit of tape off on each side, like so. So just making sure that you've got your, your little thread at the top there, so, and then just bringing that all the way around so it sits nice and taut. Okay, and then we're just gonna do that zippy-uppy thing. So, which is my thread from this one. So I'm going to bring that, this thread through that's coming from the bottom of my gemstones through there. Doesn't matter exactly where it is, it just yeah. needs to go through. And then where's this one? And I'm going to zip this up. So I'm coming out of that one there. So through the opposite one. So, and then that one, that one. Make sure you're checking out baskets for the kit because you could be with a chance of winning. Black and white cubes are on your screen and we've got lots of unchecked baskets. Okay, so I would normally be doing this with it right up to my face. So yeah, just give it a pull in, but once you pull it in, you can see that it's fine. So where are we going next? That one into this one. And this one. So we're almost at the top. So that one, that one. Where have I just come out? There. And into the top there. Just moving all these threads away. And getting rid of the stop bead there and it's just a matter of finishing it off just like we did with that uh, little sample piece you've got a lot of threads going on at the moment so just persevere these are brilliant these beading mats yeah. though, aren't they yeah so just as a little cheat just to kind of move my thread out of the way I'm just going to come all the way down there but it won't matter still going to pull it in nicely see it's all pulled mm -hmm. in nicely so I would continue doing that and threading that backwards and forwards and then just for extra security remember these pieces that we came through the middle of the gemstone yeah and we just pop straight through the bottom there so you're going to do it top and bottom so you're just going to thread through and secure this into your beading so I can go I can see there's a whole line of them there and pull that through and that's going to pull that and tighten up everything up inside brilliant so kind of feel the security it's not moving anymore and then come back down this side because they're sitting, because of the way the peyote sits, they sit in really nice lines. Oh, so you can utilise yeah, that? Yeah, so you can utilise that. It's not going to disturb the pattern at all. It's going to give it lots and lots of strength. So it's just a matter of working your way up and down. Just spend a little bit of time just making sure everything's nice and secure before you just finish your ends off. And all you do to finish your ends off is just snip them off. As long as you know you've been up and down lots of time. This one at the top, I'll just bring it round to the side and start coming down here. And then your pendant is ready to be threaded on. Fantastic. Like so. It's perfect, isn't it? And easy. As long as you've got things like the quick start peyote, if you've got that and you've got the kit, you're ready to go. Get yourself yeah. some needles. That's everything you need. They are on the website. 
LOK Y75 is for the black and white agate cubes that we showed you that were in addition. And don't forget everybody that has purchased the kit is now in with a chance of winning this gorgeous piece of jewellery. But maybe you want some extra of the multicolour cubes. Have we got those on their own? I'll just use this one right in front of me. So we've got these on their own if you want extra. Or if perhaps you've got lots of seed beads and fire line, you just think, no, do you know what? I've got to have those cubes. Well, we're going to give them to you on their own. Beautiful luster. Great big drill hole for you to loot. You, you, we saw that you were going through and yeah, through those drill holes. Yeah, you can go through multiple times. They're fantastic. It's been in the little, um, the, what, the earrings that I made for fun, the little Christmas kind of present earrings. They're so cute, yeah. little presents. Um, that has got multiple multiple strands through through the centre there. Yeah, well, and, and yeah. the same with the black and whites. It just, yeah. uh, because, you, because this gemstone will accommodate it, You've got a really generous drill hole. So we're going to give you all of these chunky, gorgeous tubes for just... Tubes? Cubes! For just £12.95. They're not I tubes, the they're cubes. That you can use them individually and just have that one pop of colour match it to mm. an outfit, maybe. But I really do love the statement pendant where I've used all those colours. All of them together. They look amazing together. And they row up nicely as well, yes. don't they? Yes. Let's see how many you've got. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve... I think I counted 24. I can't be sure. I was just no. saying, if you're not into seed beading and you like your wire with these, you could, because they're a nice uniform shape, you could maybe make a very similar pendant, but channel set them. So you wouldn't generally think of channel setting a gemstone that big, no, but, you but channel setting them would look absolutely amazing. 26. I love this one. 26. Yeah, it's love. lush, isn't it? I spent such a long time looking through each one individually. I mean, the one in the, um, the bracelet, I love that one. That little uh, turquoisey, tealy colour. Loads and loads of those that you can really pick out, aren't there? Beautiful. Make sure you are checking out baskets. Loads of you that haven't the two. The brand new Jasper oh, is coming this. up in about well, in about ten to. Oh, bang on. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> in 35 minutes I went yeah it's about 10 to that would be like 20 minutes wouldn't it I'm no good with maths they know that show them big uns. everybody loves these uh, look these look, look like um, planet that one looks oh, like look um, that planet that looks like the um the one from Star Wars doesn't it yeah the, the, the Death, Star. Death Star yeah da, da, da. Mm -hmm can't sing any more of that. I love these. They do feel amazing. They do. They do. I couldn't stop picking them up. They're amazing to feel. Look at that one. Oh, that could oh, be a, bas a baseball. Yeah. Oh, these are so cool, aren't they? Then Everybody loves really, them. Some of them kind of look floral. They're amazing. Definitely. Some of them are quails eggy. Yeah. Oh, they're fabulous, aren't they? A must-have strand coming up a little bit later. But right now, we're going to give to you. Should we start the mounts? Let us mount. Oh, I really want you to make this. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? The black on it. I really want you to make this <laughs> so I can steal this. Yeah, can you? Can you do it? Can yeah. you do it? Thanks. I was going to show it to everybody. Yeah. So you've got. That's the black onyx. I really like this. I love the cross in the centre. And look at these. So if I give you the, the toolkit, would you be able to? Yeah. Thank you. So. Sorry to put you in the, on the spot. Have you ever used that toolkit before? Uh, I haven't. OK, well, I'll tell you but how to do it. Yeah. You I, could probably I've, do it without I've seen um, that's Hayley nice. do it before. Oh, well, these are going to look amazing. Where's the little pusher? I need the little pusher. Oh, it's, um, that's not the toolkit. I need the little pusher. I don't even think I'd need that. To be oh, honest. you could do it without. Because oh yeah, go on. So beautiful. Is it sterling silver? Flipping neck. Right. I know how much this costs my sister. I always wear this, and it's sterling silver. And it looks about looks very similar gram weight. We're gonna. We, we've not got many of these, oh. so you're gonna have to act fast. So if I pop both of those in, you might be able to. You can see what it's gonna look like. There we go. We haven't got the tool, unfortunately. Uh, but you can push these in pretty easily. But we're not allowed because we've only got single figures of these just in case. Oh, I love that. That is definitely That's a bit of me. I love gorgeous. it. Gorgeous. 
24 95 is your price. That, oh, they've gone. It's gone. Oh, oh well done. That's amazing. I that. Stunning. So I'm not allowed to use it. No, oh, never mind. I'm glad somebody else got it. Let's go now with the brilliant cut oval. Please, may I have the gem grabber out of that? Solid stone silver. What size is it? Seven, I think. Is it a seven ring? Oh, the gem grabber must be still over there. Oh, sugar me timbers. Sugar. I haven't lost it. I have not lost it. Where can it be? I mean, to be honest, we should have a gem grabber there all the time. I can't tell you I know exactly what I did with it. Why have we not got the gem grabber anyway? I don't know how I lost it. I just don't know. I think it was Chris. Because it's not in there. It's definitely not in there. No, it's no. definitely not in there. No. I want to show... Right, I can show you. Can you see this wonderful garnet? Oh, it's Look at beautiful. that. And look at that ring mount. I don't know what I've done with it, which is very annoying because I really do need it for this show. No, it's a little tiny thing. It's about that big and it's a cylindrical. Right, this ring in the high street, you would pay about 50 pounds for, wouldn't you? Yeah. Completely natural, the garnet is. Has it gone into the other tool kit? <laughs> Why am I such a calamity? I knew it was going to be, there we go. Oh, thank you. Where did I put it? Uh, I might have taken it. Oh, thanks. <laughs> well, I'm glad you admitted to it and it wasn't me this time. Don't let me think I've gone mad. That's not... He's passed his probation, so he doesn't care. Look at that for a garnet. Look at that colour. Oh, that's oh, stunning. It's totally natural. There's only one left. So oh, wow. Twelve ninety five. Look, look at all this silver. It's redonkulous. That is such Whoa. a. That is such that gorgeous is a thick lot. silver. It's beautiful. Brand new customer. You've got yours. What a way to start with us here at Jewelry Maker. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. Ooh. Round. Oh, round, brilliant cut. A massive <gasps> show-off ring. Wow. What's that on the side? Are they little diamonds? White topaz, I would imagine. Yeah, but they're really oh, fiery. No, look how fiery they are. Oh, wow. What do you mean, what do I mean? Wait, what do you mean? They shouldn't... Well, it has got something it, next there to is it. There's definitely something there. Let me see your picture of the mount. Look, on the shoulders. Mm. Oh, that's what you'll get. No diamonds. That is lovely. How beautiful. Gorgeous. It's a very thick band of silver. It's beautiful. Look at that aquamarine. Gosh, it's a bit... I've got the aquamarine here, if you'd like to see... Oh, I can't open the blooming box uh, so that is the mount you will get yeah we're gonna open it don't you worry where does the world goes away oliver this is the birth gemstone of march which i'd like everybody to know is oliver's birth gemstone oh, oh my word <gasps> Oh, that looks like a diamond. Hang on a minute. I think I've got the wrong thing. No, this isn't the right thing. Look, because I it looks. Look. That is beautiful. No, look at the fire in it. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to put mine in mine. This is just something else. Look, I've got, I haven't pronged it. 
Now yours comes in a different mount, but just to show you the sparkle. That absolutely sings, doesn't it? It's beautiful. And the gram weight on the silver is 2.3 grams. That is such a heavy gram weight of silver. And look at your price, 24.95 wow. ZJD M48. I love this aquamarine. I love a round, brilliant cut. Because I just think it looks instantly expensive. Yeah, it's instant class, isn't it? Mm. Really and classic. I think we associate that with a diamond yes. cut, and it just looks great, doesn't it? Um, a size 9 for you. Which is, is it a... MN a nine or an NO. It's an NO, isn't it? An NO, maybe. It's an NO, I think. Because I never do it by numbers. Yeah, I always I do it by letters. I yeah, think it's I think an NO. I think it is an NO. Which fits on my middle finger. NO. It's an NO. Yeah. I'd say it's an NO. That's because that's. Unless I got fatter. Now, make sure you are checking out your baskets. We've got single figures of these and there are so many unchecked baskets. Uh, we're over allocated, in fact, quite, quite massively, which means there are more in baskets than we actually have available. Uh, two of you from Tyne and Ware. Neck and, oh, three Tyne and Ware's, neck and neck. There's a lot of March, babies. Uh, it was all going on in uh, Tyne and Ware, whatever, nine months before March was, which I don't know. Do check out your baskets for this one. I don't I don't like telling people's names. Cyan or Sean, do you mean? <laughs> oh, he used to go out with someone called Cyan. What was it spelt like that? Cyan. Yeah, did you split up because you kept calling her Cyan and her name was Sean? And she was like, I've had enough of this. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Cyan. Who's Cyan? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. Only three of these left and uh, 13 in unchecked baskets. ZJM. Sorry, ZJDM48. What name have you called somebody by accident? No. <laughs> Do it to my kids all the time. Mia, Max, me. Uh, I just go, me. I just shout, Lolliver. My dog's called Lola, and Oliver's called Oliver. So there you go, Lola. <laughs> I'm getting my puppy tomorrow, everyone. There will be a lot of puppy span. Maeve, her name's Maeve. Oh. She's a black Labrador puppy. She's very cute. Well, I think she's cute. I mean, you never know till you take him home, do you? Puppy smell. Yeah. She'll be in here on Friday. I'll be bringing her in. She'll be on air. She's going to be an on air dog on Friday. Now, what next? That's the one I've got in my hand. Look at the look at the pearl and the white topaz. <gasps> this screws on. Is it supposed to be a pendant? Yes. Oh, that's all right then. Yeah, it screws in. Well, I'm very much liking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's screwing in. Yeah, it's screwed in. Yeah. Still screwing. You would put jewelry glue yeah, in it. Yeah, I think I, if, but you'd screw it in like that just because you know yeah. it's taken. <gasps> oh, la, la. I just was looking for. See, this for me, it says, it says pendant, but to me that could sit in the middle of maybe a wire work, a sterling silver wire work bracelet because you've yes. got all those apertures at the side to connect into. You've got white topaz in there as well. I just heard we're... Oh, no, not to tell you. We're, we're losing money on this because it's been to a clearance price. I can't believe that price. 49. Uh -huh. Look at the size of this round pearl. Look how much gorgeous sterling silver you've got. You absolutely would be selling this on. If not, get it valued. This is... Look, it is a gorgeous, perfect button pearl. It's like if you saw the queen, that's the sort of pearl you yeah. would expect the queen to have because it's just perfect and so vintage and expensive looking. I am a major fan of this. There is a lot of sterling silver. Look at that. All the way around. Messages. A size 9 is an R2S. Thank you. My Jeez. fingers have got fatter then, which is always nice to know. Uh, Jane has messaged in from the Shire. 
Uh, great show, Jenny. Keep up the good work. As a retired teacher, I spent most of my career calling people's wrong name. Good luck with the puppy. Thank you, Jane. Oh, Jane, I wonder if you taught me. What school? Because I'm from the Shire. She'd know about it, wouldn't she? I went round. When I still lived in Cheltenham, I took my daughter round to a secondary school where Miss Mellon uh, was, who used to be my teacher. And she looked at me and she went, that's not your daughter, is it? Please don't tell me there's another one. <laughs> and I went, it's OK, she's a nerd. The MP, because she was a nerd then. Well, no, my daughter was a nerd. She was a self-confessed nerd. She just loves books and nerdy things. There's nothing wrong with being a nerd. Mm -hmm. There's everything wrong with being what I was when I was a teenager. I, but um, actually, she was fine, and she became her, one of her favourite pupils. Aww. So it was all fine in the end. Uh, now, we're going to give to you... Lubbity dubbity do. Are these earrings? Yeah, that's Yeah, but nice. are these earrings? I wouldn't have said these were earrings unless I could oh. see an earring. Oh, connectors. Oh, he's called them earrings and he meant connectors, which is where the confusion lay. Oh. Yeah, everyone was getting everything right until then. You know that, Liam. <laughs> These are right blimmin' lush, aren't they? So let's pop one in there where it's supposed to go. In you go, darling. Oh, yes, Ooh. loving. But you would put these in earrings, perhaps, wouldn't yeah, you? Or yeah, a pendant and a bracelet that matched. I'm a bit rubbish at that, aren't I? You've got ice white topaz, and then I've got a beautiful cognac quartz. That colour is amazing, isn't it? It's also known as whiskey quartz, isn't it? It's got a real, um, a real vintage antique feel to it, yeah. I think the chaps could go in for this as well. That's lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. So we've got the so setting here for you What you would well. do, you'd just spread those prongs out a little bit just to let it sit in spread properly. Spread them out, push it in, and, and then, then... push them back in, yeah. Solid sterling silver, and you've got 4.8 grams of sterling silver. Here's oh the silver God. here. Very vintage. It's beautiful, isn't it? So you've got, let me just talk you around this. You've got the two loopholes. One at top, one at bottom, or side, depending on how you want to put it. And then you've got that wonderful cognac quartz. And you get two, of course. Oliver's got a, would it, could I, could I make a, yes, Oliver? Yeah, you absolutely could. Yes, two rings. Yeah. Ten pound a ring. He's not wrong, is no, he? It's no. very rarely if you, is. If you he bought, very if you bought two is. lots, you could have one in a slider bracelet, one in a ring and a pair of earrings. Yeah. And why wouldn't you buy yeah. two lots? I mean, you can separate yeah, them and sell them like that if you want to. Uh, OFPK27 is your item code. They're just £20 for yeah. both of those, which They're is just ridiculous for, to be value. a pendant also. Yeah. So you could take the loop off one of them and, and make it into a pendant. No problem at all. These are fab. Really fab. Such a lot of silver, such a lot of silver. Oh, wow. And you've got all those topaz. Let's not outrule those as well. It's a brilliant opportunity for you, and you are seeing that. I know you are, because I can see you yeah. on my screen just there. <laughs> now, the next one we're going to give to you is going to be... I've got two the same here. I wonder if they're different size rings. Oh, it could be a different... It is a different sized ring, isn't it? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. It's lush, isn't it? Is it star sapphire? Star sapphire. Oh, wow. Star dioxide. Oh, we were looking at this earlier, weren't we? Yeah, it's brilliant. I've got my phone handy only for this reason, of course. Wow! Right, I'm going to show you... Other phones are available. I want to show you the star, but you've got to, you've got to see it. Shall I, shall I mount it? Right there. It's so big, I can hardly get it in the gem grabber. Okay. What's the best way to show you this, Oliver? Shall I go here? Oh, wow. <gasps> oh! Look, you can see the star in this. It's ridiculous. Oh, look at that. 
Black Star Dioxide rings are so expensive and Black Star Sapphire, they're so sought after. And you, so you'll see a star, sometimes two, traveling across the gemstone. Totally natural. And you know, this gemstone is so sought after and it's got such a massive amount of myth and legend behind it. Let's talk about that because if you are into that, which I, by the way, heavily am, there's, there's a huge, like literally, this is one of the absolute crown in the jewel of... Um, Jewel in the crown, even. I thought that came out wrong. So when you put it under under a light source, it'll give you a star. A four-pointed star to see is rarer than a six-pointed star. What have we got? We've got a four-pointed star in mine. I think I've got double stars. Can you see two? I can see two. You can see one is the light source from me. Can uh, you see yeah. if I... Yeah. Look, we'll take the lights in the studio down. Oh, look at that. That's just ridiculous. Stop it. This is all oh, ghosts. Oh, there's ghosts. This used to be a swimming pool. Did you know where we are now? Which isn't scary, but there is actually a bit of a horrible story behind it. Can you tell me the, the myth behind this? Because it's a quite a strong one, isn't it? Oh, we just put the lights back on. It's like coming out of cinema. <whistles> Look at the ring mount. Oh, the immense detail on this is amazing. Just shy of four grams of solid sterling silver, which is gramalicious. I'll put the ring on for you. You're going to mount it in there. There's one online now for 80 something pounds, 88, 70. What, just the start, just the, just the, it's not eight carats though. It hasn't got the, um, the sparkles on it either. Have you got the myth and legend behind it? Because there is something really deep towards this gemstone. I think it's like worn by powerful wizards or something. If you thought you were a powerful wizard. Maybe. A wizard. <laughs> wizard. Yeah, there is something about it. Wizard. Myths and ledge. Or oh, just put a oh, crystal healing belief. It's a strong one, though. So look at that. A strong healing energy to, that grounds you to earth. So yes, it's, it's worn by it earth it. healers, yeah. yeah. Are you an earth healer? Are you into gemstone yeah. um, myths? Me too. Yeah. I like, I'm, I'm one for a psychic night, I am. Oh, Are you? Yes, yes. And if you, um, if you are, um, of course, against things like that, then we don't mean to offend. No. Every believes different things, don't they? QRP, K87, 1995. They, they are like, Liam doesn't believe in myths and legends. Well, we've got the exact same to show you now. Is it the same price? There's no point in doing both of them. There's no point in doing that because it's the same as the other one. Let's give you... Hmm... Unless it's the one that we thought was the other one, then we haven't got it. Oh, I got it. No, I've got it here. I've got a pe I've got a pendant and a ring. Yeah. So this is for eight mil rounds, and you've got a matching pendant, bale, and ring. These are lovely. There's a question for Katie coming from Oliver, which is, can I put any old eight mil round in there? As, as long as it's got a flat bottom, or yeah, could I Yeah, I'd put say a... it would need a flat bottom, because otherwise yeah. it's going to sit too pride, proud and your prongs aren't going to come over it enough. Yes. So maybe if you had one, a button pearl or something like that. Oh, a button pearl, yeah. Yeah. That'd be nice. Some, something like that. that, that or any or half drillers yeah. that you've got. Yeah, some, something that's going to sit nicely in, into it rather than just sit 
as a, a full round, if you know what I mean, because you need your prongs to be able to come over it so it's coming over that central line so it's going to grasp it. XLP K10 is your item code. So much silver, 2.65 grams of solid stone silver. These are all hallmarks. This is in a size seven for 19.95. You're getting both. Make that suite of jewelry and sell it on. Oh, absolutely. See, They're these are the pretty. sort of things that you need for your craft store. If you sell a selection of, of your traditional kind of jewelry as such that's like your gem set things and then you sell your your wire work or your seed bead but you do need things that are quite quick makes for your stall otherwise you haven't got time and the, the amount of money that you can make mm. isn't isn't enough so you need these nice quick ones and people will gravitate especially towards christmas yep. gravitate towards sterling silver it's a gemstone yeah especially men definitely yeah. 90 yes because it's a it, yeah oh that a, looks expensive i'll get that yes yeah. My other half is very guilty of that. Very guilty. Like, on, on Valentine's Day, I had two singing balloons, a big bunch of flowers, a teddy bear, and some chocolates. Said that way, you couldn't have got it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> now, we'll go to a size nine, but I... Oh, we get... What number? Oh, no, it's got white topaz on the shoulders. Right. So... I, right, they're saying this is a number nine, but I'd say it's between a nine and a ten. It's we haven't got any tens, but this is a nine, and I'd say it's somewhere. I, th I think it's possible, probably somewhere in between the two because it's slightly big there, and that would be a nine finger here. Now you've got an eight millimeter round um, circumference here, and you've got some lovely topaz. Oh, Katie, you little beaut. So that's a size S, which is what? Can you S? I S. Yeah, I'd say that's a, between a nine and a ten. Have you got it? Is it on the other? This is going to be twelve ninety five, which is crazy. It's a nine and a half. Yeah. There you go. It's yeah. between nine and a ten. See, my thimbly feelings serve me again. HKP K58. Laura, who was asking for a size ten, that was a nine and a half. This, this was a nine and a half for you. Uh, it's brilliantly. Oh, I think Laura did. Laura and Gwent. Um, two grams of silver and the white topaz either side. Do you know those are teardrops, though, not rounds? Yeah. It says, look, these are te this is a teardrop, I think. Let me just... Would you call that a teardrop? A pear shape? Yes. Yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? But they are brilliant cut, yes. Yep, this is right. This is what you get. It's just the description's a little bit wrong. They, they, at first glance, they would look like round brilliant cuts, but they're in fact teardrop brilliant cut. Um, so, yes, that's what you get. Well done. Um, now, I've got another one for you. What size is this? So that's the same size. That's size nine as well. Let's put it on, on this and let me see whether... Yeah, so this is an S as well, so it's slightly larger than a size nine. About a nine and a half. So this would be a nine and a half. We're calling it a nine. I've just measured it as an S, which apparently is a nine and a half. We're going to give you another fabulous price. No gemstones here, but you've got those lovely arrows and you've got that l wonderful oval shape there to fit an eight by six oval. Have you got any of those or maybe you're going to make your own? Maybe you've got some polymer clay. You want to make something yeah, cool yeah, out of that? Yeah, resin? Or uh, maybe a ceruleum or something like that. Yeah. Fantastic. 12.95 LIPK58 a size nine. Uh, we, we actually think it's a nine and a half because it did measure up as an S on our um, Dubri. What are they called Mandrel. again? Mandrel. That's it. Keep forgetting things. Yes. I'm like, oh, I've forgotten that word. What is it? Mandrel. Now our must have. Don't forget, is coming up. Eight minutes time. Oh, I love this. It's brand new, you've never seen it before. These are lovely, aren't they? 
How perfect are these for the autumn? I really like these a lot. Now, we're going to give to you... Ah, I spotted these earlier. You're going to like this. Mm. Okay, so it's really striking and it's kyanite. <gasps> I spied those. Yeah, me yeah. too. Aren't these amazing? amazing. Uh, do you know what? I just want this on my stand yeah. so that people knew that I was fabulous. Look at these. If a peacock, if a peacock when it dies turns into a gemstone, that's what it looks yeah. like. Or a unicorn. Yeah. Or something else from a mythological land. Because peacocks accidentally stayed. They weren't supposed to. They were supposed to go back with the unicorns to myth's mystery land. It looks fabulous, doesn't it? So do I get two pieces? I've got two pieces here. So it's coated kyanite. I've never I look at this. that. I how would this. you how would you utilize it? Would you cage it? Would you prong set it? Um, it would depend on obviously what shape you got. I think with that one, I would probably prong set it in some way with as little sort of covering it as possible. Kind of create a bale and just maybe mm. take some prongs just around, just to kind of grasp it, literally grasp it and I wouldn't kind of do it evenly I just do it on what you know whatever angle is going to going to work to really secure it well there's no proof that these aren't energized by magic no proof against it it does look like it could defeat an evil spirit maybe yeah. I don't know whether that's true or not I just literally said it um <laughs> and it was based on my thoughts <laughs> I don't know if it will ward away evil spirits, but it looked like it would. If I was met by a ghost that I thought wasn't best pleased to see me, I'd be like, I come in peace. What are you going to do about it, ghosty McToasty? Yeah. That's what I'd say. No. They're fantastic. No, they would be definitely pendants, but to be honest, I would be buying them just for my collection. Yeah, I want to put them in a bowl and put them by yeah. the window so that the light goes. It's fab. Uh, the, the word rhombus delights me massively. Yeah, I don't, I don't, it's a little bit like rotund and pompous at the same mm. time. You rhombus fool! It, it sounds like a complete insult to call someone a rhombus, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, it does. You absolute rhombus. I like yeah, it. It sounds, it sounds like an insult, doesn't it? But Yeah, I'd yeah, quite really like, like for somebody to call me a silly rhombus. You have to say it in a posh accent, though, because then it's more... You stupid rhombus! Look. Or a rhombus could be quite a round behind, couldn't it? <laughs> Check out her rhombus. Or his rhombus, I mean. Not sexist. Actually, checking out anyone's rhombus is perhaps not a polite thing to do, so please don't do it. Check out my rhombus though, because look at what I got for you. I haven't just got one rhombus, I've got two, four, six, seven rhombi. Let's rock the rhombus sounds like a dance actually. Should we rhombus? Do 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 to rhombi. To rhombi. To rhombi. Yeah. To loo rhombombi. They're fabulous, they're natural, you can see sort of figures in them, I think. Now these little rhombus fellows are made out of stick agate, which I also don't, I don't think the word stick belongs here. No. Sticky agate. <laughs> There's no sticks Sticky. in this agate. Don't stick your rhombus in me agate, have a look. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I don't even know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, but I just, I, sorry. <laughs> oh, they're arguing whether I got my rhombuses and my agates the wrong mm. way around there. £9.95 FCVR28. What are you going to do with the rhombus? Do, 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 do. Oh, it's the rumba that's a, it's a yeah. dance, isn't it? The rumba. You would like to use the... Oh, you'd like to get your flat head pins in the, in the rhombus, would you? Well, these are extra long. And they're always good to have, Katie, aren't they? They are. See, I'm going to go back to the cubes that we had. So you could make that style pendant 
you could probably get four of those on there and just pop a little wrap loop on the top or just a simple loop. Yeah, pop a simple loop and you've got that same style, mm -hmm. but very, very simple, very, very minimalist. And you've got the flash of gold there yeah. as well. And these are sterling silver extra long head pins. So know you've got the silver there. Don't, um, just make sure you use it all. I yeah. wouldn't snip it. I'd be rolling up into a gorgeous yeah, little coil. Yeah, for a little gemstone then just discard the rest. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, don't. It'd be too much of a shame. Yeah. These are actually amazing for, you know, our um, slider bracelets? Yes. And sometimes you want, if we get the gold ones and you want to put something in between and you want to set it on wire, but we don't sell um, oh, you gold plated sell the wire, gold but that's wire. enough to go to make that whole section She's of the not front wrong. and put a little wrap loop on each end and you've got a whole section of gemstones. Because essentially that and is gold, and then you, nine carat gold yeah, and silver wire. your precious metals flowing all the way through your bracelet then. She's onto something there. Do you know that? You're onto something. Easy to manipulate as well because it's sterling silver. Really lovely set there for just £5.95. CVG P93. Great deal for you. Um, next, we're going to give you... Have you seen that one in 14? Oh, I really like these, and you're going to like these a lot. So just just watch yourself because you might be buying these. <gasps> love them. I love them. I love, love these colours. Yeah. They're a bit of me. Look at that one. Look. Yeah. That colour is lush. This, I know I say it all the time. Every time it comes up, it's like old maps. Yeah, that old, old maps. It's so yes. Yeah. Like a vintage yes. map. Oh, I like that. The steam age. It could yeah. be quite steamy, couldn't yeah. it? And these are of a size, they're slightly smaller oh. than the other cubes we've had earlier, but you could make a ring with these, a seed bead ring mm. or a wire work ring. I think Fleur made a beautiful, um, I think it was uh, the copper sheet. Yeah. And just, just a really simple th uh, strip of copper sheet and just set that ring in the, the It would gemstones. go really well it with the copper or rose gold as yeah. well, wouldn't it? Oh, I've got a lot of time for this. I really have. I love the colours. I think they could be masculine or feminine. Yes. I think they're beautiful shades. I think there's definitely an air of vintage in these, this kind of Victorian I shades. Just I'm for loving. A gem, maybe just one macrame into a bracelet, maybe yeah. some hemp cord, yeah. something like that. Each one is different. Look, that looks like it's got golden inclusions. It looks like it's got rose gold inside it. I love it. JVJ P45, now the one to own is coming up for you in a few minutes. Must have, not one to own. It's coming up, I get me mustards and me one to owns mixed up. Picture Jasper, brand new coming up. We've got loads coming up. Kate is going to inspire us massively. I know she is, no pressure. Uh, don't go anywhere, we'll join you. I know we will after this. <laughs> Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewelry making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Hello everyone, it's Mark here with some news of an up and coming show. Join myself and presenter Carol on the morning show on September the 25th. And myself and presenter Hannah on the mid show on the 25th. And myself and Zena on the late show on the 25th. That's right, you've got me all day. We're having a Mark Smith day on Wednesday the 25th of September. So in the morning show, Carol and I are going to be showcasing chips, nuggets and macrame two of my favourite uh, mediums. And then on the mid-show, this is going to be amazing. We have got brand new relaunch, new products. We're going to introduce you again to the world of Paracord. Brand new colours, brand new tools, even the DVDs are back. And then the late show, a bit self-indulgent, one of my other passions, beaded kumahimo. So we're going to be doing a back to basics show telling you all about the, the setting up of the discs, finishing, putting clasps on and how to incorporate beads in your work. So that's Mark Smith Day, Wednesday the 25th of September, the morning, the mid and the late show. There's lots of other surprises I'm sure. We'll look forward to seeing you then.
Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Joy to the world, we are back. Now, we've got for you, don't forget, another giveaway in the nine o'clock kit. All you've got to do is make a purchase. We will launch, launch the, announce the winner, not launch the winner. I don't want to launch you. <laughs> Might not want to be launched. Oh, you all right? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Chair collapsed. No, the chair collapsed. Are you okay? Yeah. Just suddenly went, brrr. did you hear it? I think your chair's oh. a bit not working. I don't think it's very working. Okay, anyway, we won't, we won't draw attention to that, but I did bring a lot of snacks, and I think, Dan, you've, you've had a few sausage rolls. You ate a whole cookie, I have giant cookies, I've yeah. eight of them in. Feed the crew, tuppence a bag. Now, we have got for you the most amazing brand new strand. Everybody that's seen this in this building has gone, oh, I like that, I need it. I love it. It could be tribal, it could be autumnal, you could take these separately. You've got the little rounds as well as those elongated teardrops. Fantastic strand. Now, Katie, you had a lot of love for these straight away. So yes. what was your initial thought? Where were you gonna place it? I mean, instantly it's, it's almost a ready-made necklace isn't it it's yeah. just it's just ready to yeah. go but also the amount of gemstones that you can put with it all those autumnal tones mm -hmm. it's got that really natural feel i actually quite like the idea of some turquoise with it i do yeah yes turquoise bring out this with this a really tribal look about it I love this the one, idea of using them separately as well. 100% because yeah. it's so natural. But well, well, look at like this. Wood, isn't it? So this, well, I think this is like the desert here, yeah. oh and then gosh. there's a hill and a hill, and over yeah. here is where people live. Can you see? So you've just got to make it there, and then you know there might be some water. Like yeah. might be a mirror. It's a mirage just in beyond. the gemstone. Just beyond. Yeah. You've got the so this, much this to see. Has, oh, it's like wood. Oh yeah, this one. Yeah. This one. This one. You're right. You're totally right. We're going to give you one minute to get involved with this one. We have less than 100, and we have hundreds of you shopping with us this evening. Uh, thousands of you today, in fact. We're going to guarantee this is going under £10. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of the teardrops and much more of the rounds. Too many to count. Uh, you've probably got 18, then, of the... Because there's one each side. Oh, no, hang on, that doesn't work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... 
Right, ten of them. What are you talking about, Jenny? <laughs> I think I've gone a bit bananas today, by the way. I've bought the wrong car into work and everything. <laughs> well, never mind. Toodly toodly. Uh, so we have already got absolutely loads of you putting this in a basket. Checking it out immediately is advised because you know there's too many things you want to do with them. They are fabulous. They're fascinating. That You can put it with wooden beads. You can put it with all sorts of different things. Yeah, Katie, couldn't yeah you? absolutely. I would be tempted to literally just re-strand it. Maybe just up chain at each side. Yeah. Really as simple as that. But also mix it up with your other gemstones. You know, spread them out a little bit more maybe. Mix them up with your mookite. I mean, I've got a mookite strand coming in the kit. Also, the um, tiger's eye cubes. The tiger's eye cubes from the kit will look they awesome. They look amazing. But what so about you could the take bronze right train we had earlier? Not train. It wasn't a train. It was a chain. Train. Chain, yes. Don't put it with a train. No. Or do, well, I mean, you can. Yeah, that works really well. That looks fab. And you're adding that other that other texture to it because you've got that, that faceted cube. You know, so you've got that, that reflection of light at a different angle. Beautiful, smooth, big carat weight, genuine gemstone, jasper, teardrops, or pears. You're checking out your baskets already. 20% of the stock has gone. Are you ready? To grab yourself something fabulous should be 19.95. That's what it is on the website. We're about to change it, though. We're about to give you a launch price for this brand new go wear now. Oh, he's a rascal. Ooh. £7.95. Brilliant price. Brilliant. I never listen. Let me tell you, I've learned not to even look at the prices no. when I get my sheet because, so we all get a sheet of what we're doing. I don't look at the prices. A, B, I won't ever remember all of those numbers <laughs> anyway, but B, because I never know what the producers can do because they basically make it up as they go along. The moo kite would go very, very well. VIP 052, they don't. They see where they're supposed to go and then they... Uh, well, you do like to push boundaries, yeah, don't you? I mean, especially now it's this price I've been multi-buying, definitely. Yeah. Because yeah. once you make that necklace, somebody else is going to say, oh my gosh, that's amazing, can you make me one? You're going to be able to make one for your friends as well. A lot of our jewellery makers were checking out baskets at the original price. <laughs> yeah. um, your price gets worked out after midnight, just so you know. Um, so, Melody in Mississippi, hello, tell your friends that we're here, we ship all around the world. Now, what do you think about this? If you're if you're um, watching from America, we were thinking about doing some recorded shows just for our American uh, jewelry makers. How cool would that be? Yeah, I think it would be cool. Jenny and Surrey, uh, you've got three. Anthony has two. Loads of you there at seven pounds and ninety-five pence. It's not to be sniffed at, is it? It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And it works. I mean, I you know we're saying autumn a bit. I think that works all year round. It's so sort of neutral. So you can kind of keep it that, that beautiful neutral tones that are going to appeal to, to almost everybody. Or you could really, like I said, add that topaz and, and really lift that colour up. Love it. I love it. VIP 052. It's brilliant. Brilliant strand. Brilliant strand. 795 0800 655. You can use PayPal. Did you know that? Shop with us. I did. It's quite, quite fabulous. Yes, darling. Oh, Jenny's bought six. <laughs> They're going, Jenny, Jenny. And I'm like, yes, yes. Uh, no, not you. Jenny in Surrey. She's going mad. She hasn't gone mad. She, well, I've never actually met a Jenny that was completely just every day. I don't think I have, actually. Like, just a run-of-the-mill Jenny. No. I don't think they come in that You know, go, gets up at 7 o'clock every morning, goes to bed at 9, does a sensible job of things, drives a sensible vehicle that never breaks down and never has a tyre popped. Those Jennies don't exist, OK? Those Jennies don't exist. You can only think of, of Jenny Agatha or Jennifer Saunders. I'm not a Jennifer, though. I'm called, I can't speak on behalf of Jennifer's because... So just I can just speak on behalf of Jennies. I I've, I go through lots of tyres. What are you I, doing? To I tires? don't know, but I, I'll get like people going. Your tyres all right? Quite bold. I don't know how you check for that. So there should be an alarm that goes. But I go through a lot of tyres. I don't know what I'm doing. Mm. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? I don't do donuts or anything like that. I don't know what it is that I do to tyres. And do you know what? Right, this is. This is why I think 
I think my other half have hid the car keys, right? Because I couldn't find them, so I just had to take the smart car today, which he uses to zip around with. It's got, like, our building company written all over it. And to be frank, I don't want to drive it on the M1. I don't think it's very safe. Anyway, he, uh, he says that I backed into the garage door. I didn't. What I did was I parked as close as I possibly could to it, and it must have blown slightly forward the door in all the wind that we've been there having. There you go. Right? Perfectly. That's ex- what... Perfect and I said... Yeah. And he said... He was like this, Jan, will you come to the window? And I was like, what? And he said, come here. What is this parking? And I was like, it's just parking, Mark. Like, what? Ah, uh, bleep word, bleep word. Because that's what he does. <laughs> You're bleeping back the bleep and jeep into the bleep and bleep and bleep door. And I was like, I haven't. It must have blown closer to the jeep. I didn't do that. He, every time I drive a vehicle, he he goes around it and, and goes, that wasn't there. So uh, apparently I made one of the letters fall off the wording on the side. I mean, I, ha- I didn't get out of my car and pick it off. <laughs> So, uh, actually, then I couldn't find the car keys, so I then went in the smart car and he was, like, ringing me going, will you come back and get the car and you get over? And I said, no, I'm never touching your car ever again, because every time I do, I get accused of something. But that smart car belongs to him as well, so. VIP 052, £7.95. Pence. I don't think they're very safe on the motorways. They're not made for that. They're no, city no, cars. Yeah, they're, they're more inner city, aren't they? Yeah. Hmm. I was laughing. Well, I was laughing, right? But he wasn't seeing the funny side of it. So then he said a bleep word at me. So I wasn't talking to him the rest of the day. I didn't say the bleep word back. I said, you shouldn't talk to women like that, actually, Mark, with the bleep words. And he said, try living with bleeping you. (laughs) (laughs) And then the other bleep and say the bleep and bleep words. So, I mean... He always rings and says sorry, but oh. I think maybe I'm quite annoying to work, live with. I don't know. I just can't see it myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can we show? Well, tell me where it is, darling. Oh, yes, these bleeping yes, things here. These bleeping things. Oh, they're lush, aren't they? I mean, to be fair to the man, last week I accidentally lost the keys to the aforementioned smart car, so I had to leave it at the airport (laughs) and then go back and get the (laughs) spare keys. I thought I left them in Ireland, but I rang my daughter and she's like, they're not in your coat, because I left my coat there, so I thought they must be in my coat pocket. Never found them. They're somewhere in Ireland. I don't know where. So anyway, I had to come back, £100 for the taxi. He was half asleep because it was midnight. Don't worry about it, just get home in a taxi. So I did, and then that was £100. Then I had to get his secretary to take me to the car. I had to pay her petrol and give her a bit of money. And he told me I had to pay her hourly wage that hour. So I did that, and then £80. The car had only been in there an extra couple of hours. (gasps) To be fair, I could have got up earlier and gone and got it, but I (laughs) wanted to lie in. Here we go. But, to be fair, I don't think I did back into the garage door. I don't think you did. I can see the honesty. Because I'd heard it go bang. Yeah, you'd hear it. I'd heard bang. Shall I tell you the only reason I wouldn't hear it go bang? It's because that blinking Jeep didn't have the music on, goes when you (laughs) reverse. So I can't hear anything anyway. (laughs) No, it does it anyway. It's broken. It doesn't go beep, beep. It doesn't do that. No, it, it doesn't does, go. When it does the, the solid beep, that means yeah. you've touched something, surely. No, because as soon as you put it into reverse, it does it. So there must be something wrong well, see, with it, or it beep, might be a beep, leaf beep, on And then it. it gets faster, and then it goes bing. Mine doesn't do that. No. It just goes Because <laughs> I always do that. <laughs> Shall I tell you one more thing? He sent me a picture today of a penalty fine for parking. Because I parked the smart car, I reversed it into the space and parked it the other way, not that way. <laughs> But that's the whole point in a smart car. You can fit into zippy spaces yeah. in it. Yeah, I don't well, think you're actually was... supposed to park that way. I think you can. I think you can. These gorgeous things are coming up later. Now, do you think he's a patient man? No. Oh, I don't want to put that there. Well, I was trying to steal it, actually. That's why I put it there. But then I realised we hadn't done it yet, so I can't borrow it yes. yet. Um, now, coming up, they're not piano keys of Jasper. They're lush, aren't they? Look, feel these. 
Look at, look. Oh, wow. Glorious, yes. glorious. Job done. Da -da -da -da. See? Who backed into a garage door now, hey? I did not. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I was really laughing. He just kept getting crosser the more I laughed. Now, should we go to... You'll like these, aren't you? Oh, I like these. We oh, do I like, like a puffy coin. coin. Yes. The straight in a straight in a stretchy bracelet. Stretchy These are bracelets, lovely. straight in a ring, perfect for macrame. They're just going to work right across all your mediums. Gorgeous in chain mail. Look at that sparkle, everybody. That's what we want to see, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that's, it's got real impact, hasn't it, when we see that, that, that beautiful faceting. They're 14 millimeter, so they've got a nice... They've got a nice area to prong set, like yep. you're saying. They'd yep. be great for that. Straight into a ring. Oh, Ooh, or tone or tones. Yes, look at that one. Totally natural. I love oh, a bit of jasper. Love, yeah. I like them. Look, you've got pinks in here, like mauve colour. You've got a lot of the... Yeah, I love these. I love that. Do you know what? With a lovely, <laughs> chunky, woolly knit. Oh, yes. These would be gorgeous. Oh, it does. Oh, it does. Oh, do you know what? We could actually sew those yeah. around. Somebody ring the sewing quarter, please. We need a sewer. Now, you've got... Oh, you want me to count them? Sorry. How many have you got? How many have you got? Oh, sorry. You mean, can I count them? Yes. You have to be really black and white with me. Otherwise, I... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't, because honestly, I drive my family mad. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 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 because we are quite odd, Katie. Well, I can speak only for myself. Yeah. Are you odd or not? What's your star sign? Aquarius. Well, you are odd. Now, no, that was a joke. Um, now, let's give you something else glorious. These ooh. are nice and smooth. Ooh, 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 ooh. these go ooh. with your mukites. Yeah. These look lovely with a bit of mukite. They smell nice, I don't know why. I can't guarantee yours will smell nice. Oh, yeah, like, they will go with this Jasper. Well, Jasper and Jasper. Yeah. Just... That's lovely. Yeah. Lovely together. Now, when you've got an elongated oval like this, I know you could do something like a cufflink. We've spoken about cufflinks. They, they, they would work in this manner. I think they're quite nice in a ring if they go up the finger this yeah, way. Yeah, um, a couple of months ago I did a demo and it was a very, very simple wirework ring, but it didn't cover the gemstone at all, it did the wire, because it just kind of prong set, but prong set into the drill hole. Mm -hmm. So so just two prongs at either side, of, then attaching it straight into the, into the drill hole, so it's just literally the gemstone sat on the front of the finger. Yes, that's what looks that look, that yeah. looks nice. What about this um, new wire everyone's talking about? The gallery wire. Yeah, yeah. Would that work yeah. around it. Yeah. This new wire, I've not seen it yet. But hey, of course these go very, very well indeed. Look oh, at these. This works definitely. Uh, Marlene says, Jenny, how we've missed your mad stories. So glad. Thank you. These are everyday stories, though. Francis says, uh, the day the dashboard on our car started smoking, I was so glad that my husband was at the wheel or I'd never ever... Been. Yeah, they, Francis, they always do this. Like, look what you've done now. And you're like, oh, yeah, I intentionally made that smoke. <laughs> so I'm that clever. <laughs> I do that yeah, all the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, 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 of course on purpose I put petrol in the diesel tank. <laughs> <laughs> I always do, yeah, of course I did that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay because I don't know why I know this, but I can siphon petrol out with a hose pipe, so it's okay. Know. Now, it's not okay to do that though because it's absolutely revolting and you will be very sick. Now, oh, again, gorgeous. Loving these. That colors. one's got a midnight oh. blue in it. You've got a lot, a lot, of lot of, of different colour. 
See that colour? See the smoothness of these? They're I lovely. think these in a bracelet with the faceted coins that we've just had. Yes. Then you've got that, that different sort of reflection oh, yeah, of each. Oh, yeah, let's put those together then. So you've got like a different texture. I think they're going to work really well together in a bracelet. Yeah, they do, don't they? Yeah, I think they work really well. They do. They're gorgeous. Oh, uh, sorry, QCT A16 is for that one. Now, we've got some Kunzite, which we're rather excited about. Oh, I was looking at this earlier. Aren't they so lovely? So pretty. That central stone in particular yes. is beautiful. The vibrance of colour here, quite remarkable. Isn't it lovely? You've got, oh, I love these. This is totally natural, 40 carats. So this is a gemstone that was discovered by George Frederick Kuntz. It was launched in um, at Tiffany & Co. It and it's, um, it, it, it was in a ring that was given to Jacqueline Onassis, wasn't it, Kunzite? She had a Kunzite ring. But according to Scandal, the same piece of jewellery was also given to Marilyn Monroe. Oh, I didn't Make know that. that what you will. Mm -hmm. I read it. It's very naughty to do that, isn't it? Especially mm -hmm. to two very famous women. Yes, it does sound a little bit suspect, doesn't it? It's very naughty indeed. Now, this is Kunzite. Kunzite is a gemstone that's very, very highly regarded in the gemstone world. The way the light travels through these and gives you that incredible purity of pink. And that's exactly what you get. You have to individualise these, don't oh, you? Oh, absolutely. Individual rings, maybe prong sets and rings, or just really simply just onto some sterling silver wire, a tiny wrap loop at each side and onto some chain. You know, keep it really, really simple. I think these would be really nice set into your silver clays as well. You? Yes. This is, a, a, this is an exquisite strand. We're going to give you a very hot price. of 29 90. that's ridiculous for Kunzite. that's absolutely insane it's brilliant wow. i get five i have five on mine you should have there or thereabouts you'll definitely have the carrot weights that's how much each i know ma i'm not mathsy 599 what 599 for that yeah. <laughs> look at the clarity beautiful <sighs> this is wow. a deal and a half isn't it absolutely that's Wowzers. crazy price. If you don't check out baskets, you, you are, you've got to have a word with yourself there. Give it a kiss, send it back. Now. Let's give you. These are clamshells or clot beads, but with a hook. So, where's those head pins I had earlier? Have I still got them? Katie, do you happen to have a bit of wire or head pin or something I can um, something skinny I can put these onto? Now these are culottes but with a difference. They are rose gold. They are 3.5 millimeters, but they've got a hook on them. Now this makes them really interesting because then you can mount something onto them. I think these so I've always called these clamshells, but they are professionally called culottes. Thank you so much, Kate. I keep calling you Kate, and it's Katie, isn't it? Sorry. Oh, no, that doesn't matter. Are you sure? Yeah. Katie, I've been told off quite a lot today anyway, <laughs> so I can take it. Look at that little hook. So, do you see what I mean? Now, you've got that little hook. Would you pinch that over um, yeah, I think something? Yeah, you, you would pinch that over something, just a, a... A jump ring, perhaps? So, what you would do is you would pop your knot into here yeah yeah mm. or your crimp so cover that up Three. and then you would attach this to your clasp so it, you would basically create a simple loop that would attach to your oh. clasp that's, that's how I would, oh, I would read that as being yeah, yeah 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 so if you can imagine it's sort of sat opposite each other yeah your knots your clasp would be in the middle there and the your your necklace would come from this side and the opposite side yeah well, I've never seen these before, and I think I've never fantastic. seen them, but, but that's that's to me what it looks like you would do with those, definitely. They're hallmarked, so if your customers are looking for that hallmark, 925 silver, these are, um, we don't see these often at all. And they're 95 pence, which is absolutely, wow. I thought we weren't allowed that. Oh, no one cares. No one cares about the rules anymore. No one cares about the rules. 
incredible amount. Do you know, and, and Mark Smith always says when he sells things on it, it's got silver in it yeah. or gold in it, five pounds on yeah, top. Yeah, at least. Do you sell your pieces yes. on there, Katie? Yes, I do. Where do you sell? I sell it online, Etsy. Etsy. Yeah. Do you get a lot of custom from Etsy? Yes. If it, because you can plug it quite a lot yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, you do have to work quite quite a lot, lot of the uh, advertising side of it, yes. But that's good because it's because uh, if you're apprehensive about going out or you just, you know, because actually you, you, you don't have to um, pay for a stand. Yes. You don't have to pay for your petrol. It's a lot less time consuming. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a lot less scary doing it online yeah. rather than because I'm going out to a craft fair. But then I think the confidence once you start getting those sales makes you think, oh, I could go out and do a craft fair now. Yeah. And please do go do craft fairs because there's such amazing people out there. You'll meet lots of new friends. Yeah, you will. Yeah. yeah it's a you always really, see the same a, people on yeah, the scene yeah, and it's, it's like so circuit, much fun. It? It's brilliant. I used to do trade shows all around the world, and I tell you what, it's some of the funniest days yeah. ever. Some of the best times. Now, boop, 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 boop. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Love this a lot. Now, what about this? Oh, yes. How about these cheekies yeah, together? Mixing up the sizes. It's like sizes being, and shapes. It's like yeah. being in Australia in the, in the uh, outback. I don't know why. What about, hang about, hang about. Oh, that works too. Totally natural neon appetite. Not often do we, yeah, we normally see yeah. tiny faceted rondelles, don't we? 145 carats, wow. It's a I don't big think I've ever carat weight. Strong of that carat weight. Uh, wouldn't these marquee shapes do <gasps> well in a ring? In a flower. Oh, in a flower, yes. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful example of appetite. Oh, yes, absolutely amazing. That smooth finish for just nineteen ninety five is excellent. The depth of colour, they can be unisex. This colour can be worn by anybody, I think. Um, these nice and earrings. Nice and earrings. I would set these ones into wire work pendants or go really kind of over top and make it look a lot bigger, mm -hmm. you know, with some really sort of heavy wire work around it but really let it shine in the centre and let it show off its beautiful colour. If you just wanted to make something simple for a chap, brown leather cord through yeah. it. Or black. Yeah, brown, black, leather cord. Be lovely, wouldn't it? Lots of you there for it, Lynn, Helen, Denise, uh, hello teacher and every one of you. would like to message us in, it's 60777 followed by uh, the word GM Studio, or one word in capitals, and then your message. Gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Aren't they just they stunning? Are absolutely stunning. Uh, I, I've never seen an appetite of that size before. I can't believe it. If you must check out your baskets, because we are now over allocated. This is a, an insane deal. It's a brilliant deal. And if you're in, if you're, if you've got the Jasper, they just work oh, so yeah. well can together. Can you imagine just one set in a ring? Just yes, one, you can make, yeah, you know, just, they're yeah. all big enough to put in yeah, a ring. Absolutely. You could have a real can. statement kind of cocktail ring with that centre mm. one, but all of them could be set into rings. 15, 15 rings. Sell them at five pounds each and make a massive profit. <gasps> don't sell them I don't at five pounds each. No, but yeah. I, I'm saying if you <laughs> yeah. did, yeah. then it would be a profit. Oh gosh, yeah. Still make 75 pounds if that's yeah. what the calculation is. Yeah. I no, have it on good authority. Still that sell, them and sell them at 50 pounds each. Fabulous. 50 pounds? Yeah. <sighs> Should we do that red jasper before it yeah. bites us? It's absolutely gorgeous. It doesn't bite. It's time for you to start by. <laughs> So we've got this incredible colour. Um, we were talking, weren't we, earlier on about popping it with the... Oh, um, yeah. It, that just shows it off. If you're going to make a ridiculously amazing statement piece, you could do something like that. You could also separate these and just have one. Just have one because it, it actually, they're striking enough in their own right. But I think if you like to do big elaborate wire work pieces... Yeah. This is going to work so well for you. You've got these amazing edges, Katie, haven't you? Yes. That you can utilise there. You can utilise all those edges, get prongs on them. You could bezel set set one of those, sort of make a, a beautiful wire bezel for them. You could use your gallery wire. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I do love the idea that you, when you put this cabochon, if you've got a round cabochon, you could do seed bead embroidery. This, uh, this is kind of your main sort of section and then build it up in this direction with some beautiful seed beads. That would be seed fantastic. Bead It'd be a, a, such a statement piece. It would. It's kind of like the sunshine like yeah. that, isn't it? 
We've got these cabochons coming up for you in the next kit if you're wondering where we got those from. Putting it with the moo kite that we're going to be bringing you later would work so yes. very well. Yes. It's striking, eh? Maybe. Jasper to Jasper, you just want to make something that makes you go, wow. One of these followed by one of these tassel style. Yes. Perfect. Those interesting shapes make for interesting pieces. And if you've never used a shape like this before, let me assure you, the drill hole is nice and generous. So you can yes. use different mediums through these. It, take the gemstone as it is. It's not fiddly. You've got these blocks that you can hold on to. So if you're trying something new, you're not going to have it pinging off in all directions. So you could even make nearly all of these, probably even the largest ones, as, as a ring, as a really nice wire yeah. ring. Yeah. And I'd probably do it quite organically, kind of, kind of like a crazy wrap around it, maybe patina it or something like mm. that. Yeah, you could do that. Patina would yeah. really give it that incredible sort of Viking look, yes. wouldn't it? I think you're going to really enjoy each one of these. They're brand new. You've never seen them before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You need to be on the phone lines for these because... Liam's saying, if you show your interest, he's going to give you an all, an all ridiculous low. I can't tell you it's an all-time low because it's never been on, on screen before, but, but a ridiculously low price. So this is launching now, never seen before. Something different for your stash. Yes. You're going to be very delighted with yourself when you get this home. NIP 078 is your item code. 63 pence per Jasper. Okay. Well, I can't work out what that is times 11, so. No. It's less than 63 pence. We're going to give you a ridiculous 6.95 for genuine red Jasper. This is 100% natural. It comes out of the earth looking this striking 40% of the stock has gone well done to you uh, Karen Laura Lee Sharon Sandra Amanda Jane another Sandra Marion uh, we have got so many of you here uh, Jenny Deborah um, loads of you are coming in for this a great big good evening to each and every one of you please make sure you're checking out baskets otherwise you're going to miss out half the stock gone Marion in Tipperary I was just passing through there the other day you've got three Jenny in Surrey has three. Uh, we do ship all around the world. So wherever you're shopping from, I think particularly if you, sh if you shop from, from uh, anywhere anywhere south of Northern Ireland, you sort of think, oh, I don't know whether they'll ship. We do. We do. We do. We do. We do. We do. It's lovely. You'll be delighted. These are going to be amazing with the Tiger's Eye cubes again. Yeah, Because you've kind are. of got that cubular shape, even though it's kind of domed on the, shop, on the top. So it's going to kind of flow with that. You could get two, three, a key ring, a handbag yeah, charm. Handbag it could charms. be anything Brilliant. like that. I love a handbag charm. I do. You can take a handbag that you've bought from somewhere that rhymes with fly mark and you can put it, put something like this on that black handbag and it will just yes. look so much more expensive. NIPO78 is your item code. Elizabeth, make sure you're checking out. Margaret, Denise. Um, all that you're all all the greats are there there's a jenny let's see is she a jenny with an ie or a y jenny in surrey and jenny from west i can't see the one from west yorkshire she doesn't come not from the block not from, oh yeah there's a yeah there's plenty of crazy jennies plenty of crazy jennies shopping we like to spread ourselves across the world just to keep the world on its toes Six pound ninety-five is your price so i'm um, no, that is a ridiculous, it is a wonderful price, isn't it? These. Absolutely, love it. I love the, the details that you're getting on these as well. They almost look quite Japanesey. They could, yes. Yeah, if you can pop some black gemstones with those. Mm -hmm. You could, you could get, put some blossom pink or green yes. with it as well, couldn't you? Have you been, have you, have you travelled around, Katie? Have you had, had a look? No. Maybe you should go to Japan and have yeah. a look. It is a crazy place. Now, we're going to give to you... Oh, I thought you were going to say 23, which were Oliver's ones. Can we do Oliver's? Thank you. Right, Oliver in the um, gallery. 
bought these because he... Oh, I shouldn't say why, should I? Just in case. Um, he bought these to make something for his mum. These are fabulous. Fabulous. I want them in tassels. I want them in earrings. Oh, earrings. Long drop earrings. I love them. Yeah. Again, you could do a massive handbag tassel with yeah. these. Yeah, a long necklace with that as a top and then a tassel. All that chain tasseling from underneath it. Amazing. These are so cool. I love them. I think they're fabulous. I think everybody that saw these earlier was like, oh, I love these. And then Ollie went, oh, yeah, I've got those because I wanted to make my mum something because this is something that she would definitely wear. Uh, you've got the, uh, those amazing abalone pal shells set into resin and you just get the most delightful finish. I love these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yeah, ten. Let's <laughs> <Says> it there. <laughs> he's going to me. Liam's going, you're guaranteed 10. And I'm going, one, two, three. And he's going, 10. ten. ten. You're guaranteed 10. And I'm like, oh, yeah, there's 10. <laughs> 10 of them. Listen, you don't live with me. Imagine being my teenage son and how frustrated he gets. Okay, these, when they launched, were 24 90 No, don't. You can't do it. No. I think these are so perfect for Christmas do's. Oh, perfect. Just in the yeah. ears. Oh, gosh, yeah. Just I'd probably just pop a little bit of chain, maybe a, two inches of chain, maybe. Nice long drop. And just that, just at the bottom. Now, Oliver paid $24.95. Because I obviously wasn't here to pinch them for him. <laughs> Oliver said, I produced that show. I launched... Oh, did you, Ollie? Because you were actually a director by trade. So you gave yourself a good price and took it away at that and you thought, oh, that's a good price. Sorry, Oliver, but this is a better one. £11 saving. We can't guarantee wow. these again. Um, absolutely. Just worn on a chain. But you know what? Yeah. A long, very beaded in the same way you did earlier, beaded black yeah. necklace with one of these and then a big black tassel mm. with beads. Yes. Fabulous. These are wonderful. These are going to work with you. In a Marla necklace with a... I don't know what a Marla... So Marla necklace is a... Um, don't quote me on this. It's, I think it's a tra traditional prayer necklace with the beads. I think it's 108 beads, but then you have a guru bead, which is usually a larger bead. Uh, our Fleur's done a DVD on it. It's amazing. Absolutely beautiful. It's a, guru it's a certain knotting bead. technique. And, yeah, you usually have a larger bead. Like a bead. Buddha. Uh, you could, you could. It doesn't have to be a round bead. It could be a shaped bead. But these would be amazing, oh. especially you could maybe, maybe with peacock pearls or something like Good. that. Good. Yeah. I'd like the sound of that, don't yeah. I? A mala. A mala. Angela's what? Sorry, darling. Angela says, "Oh, I can't see it, dear." Uh, your highlight was your manure video the other day. I think. Oh, I watched that. Did I do a manure video? Sorry. I always pick yeah. poopick in the field. Yeah, you just oh, and then the I went, field. It would look beautiful. Well, I went over to see Katie the sheep, I think, because she's, um, we got Katie the sheep, um, and she doesn't like sheep. So if you oh. put her in the field with, she's a Manx lamb, she absolutely hates her own mother. She won't go near oh. her. It's really, she's, a, her mum's like this, Nyeh! and she's like, <laughs> and it, you'll go to the gate and she'll stand there like this, meh, meh. Me. And she goes in the garden. I don't know. Nobody knows how she gets in there. Her mum is like, me. And she does this. Katie does this. She's just, so, I don't, you're, I'm not, she, she gets in the car. She goes in the house. Aww. Sometimes I'm looking out the window. It's a Manx lamb. Her name's Kate. I'll show you. Manx lamb called Katie. She's a, she's a lamacorn. A lamacorn? Yeah, she's a lamacorn. Oh, she's a Manx sheep. Um, but guess what? When she's, no, you can pick her up. So a lot, often what happens is because people think, oh, their sheep's out. They come up to the house and go, your sheep's out. And I go, oh, yeah, it's okay. She's fine. She's actually just a pet. So you have to walk down the road and you have to go, Katie, come on. You have to put her <laughs> under your, and she goes like this with her little hoofy Aww. legs. And she's got little horns. So you have to be careful of them because she's like, meh, meh. <laughs> but if you, if she's been alone with no humans all day and we all come home, she like trots into the yard and goes, meh. And you're like, oh, hi, Katie. <laughs> Shall I find her for you? Well, she's called Katie because, and this is quite a cute story. Next door, their little boy, Charlie, 
Um, anything that's female, he calls by his mother's name because he says Aww. it's his favourite name. And his mother's name's Katie. So he calls Aww, everything that's bless. female Katie because it's the best name, he it says. It's the best name. Shall I show you a picture of Katie the Lamacorn? I'll find her for you. Lamacorn, Lamacorn, does whatever a Lamacorn does. Here's, here's me holding Katie because she's escaped. Oh. Katie! Oh, I love Katie! Look, look, me. That's Katie. She's so naughty. Um, she's, yeah, so Manx Lamb, she is, which is, and the Manx Lamb, I'm just trying to find you another one of Katie the Lamacorn. I can't find you another one. Um, but a Manx Lamb is typically what's used, Manx wool is typically what's used for tartan. Oh. But she's not Scottish because she doesn't understand if you talk to her like that. Uh, so. <laughs> Black retail quartz is what's on your screen there. So the rutilations are caused by black tourmaline. So you could get away with this being an October yes. gemstone. And I like that Dalmatian. Didn't we used to call this Dalmatian rutile? Oh, I'm getting my rutiles mixed it up would, with my jasper. It would team up really well with some Dalmatian jasper there, wouldn't it? It would. It would also work really well Ooh, with these yeah. camps. Uh, would you like me to bring Katie the lambicorn in one day? Yes. Maybe they'll let me. You can put a um, horn on her. She doesn't mind it. She likes dressing up. It makes Aww. her feel more human. I think we should have the lambicorn's picks. If she bleats thrice, the price <laughs> goes down. We can think that through. Yeah. yeah. Okay, this will be on and gone. Right, it's a little bit scary because it's got a skull on it. Right, if you've got a friend who's obsessed with the Day of the Dead, you're in for this one. So you've got silicon in the centre of this, so it just glides I down. Love that. That I love the glide. glide feeling. It's brilliant. It feels expensive. This is so strong. This isn't it fab? Where would you put this? Would it be in a necklace or would it be a bracelet for you? Because um, you can literally yeah, just put it could, as a bracelet. You could definitely go, go either way. I'd actually quite like that. You know, if you were kind of going out and you had your hair up and the back of the necklace kind of dropped down, down your back, I think that'd look quite yeah. nice. So you've got the loops either side, so you could make it into a necklace straight with the sterling yeah. silver. Yeah. There's the loops. Yeah, so you'd just add your gemstones and uh, just go from there, just... Take it into a bracelet, take it that bit further into a necklace. I really like that, and I'm quite scared of skulls, so I'm quite surprised that I like it. But it seems friendly enough, don't you, Dave? Yeah, it's, it's, quite, it's quite a nice skull. Lena's messaged in to say... What's Lena saying? I'm just going to have a sippage of my tea. Well, Simon has the nickname Simon the Alpaca. What, to his face? <laughs> really? <laughs> Is he okay with that? I can't say he's okay with it. But yeah, I can see it's because of his hair. He has that alpaca resemblance. Maybe he's got, you know they say you morph into your pets. Maybe he's got yeah. a field full of alpacas. Maybe. We'll ask him, we'll ask him. He doesn't mind. He do apparently he's very confident. He doesn't mind. <gasps> These are pretty. Oh, gorgeous. I'm loving all these coins that we've got tonight. We have got some lovely coins, haven't we, this Amazonite evening? from earlier. The Amazonite. Oh, if you bought that beautiful... Yes. Yeah. Does it go nicely with the colours in my bracelet, which I have not stolen? I am simply modelling to inspire. These are the Murano charms. Murano glass, hand glass. Oh, yeah, that does look nice. Oh, yes. Oh, perhaps I should. Just have a stretchy to go yeah. with that. Rhodochrosite is so beautiful. It is that incredible pink. I think it's a really nice pink because it's neither shocking pink, it's not baby yeah. pink, it's somewhere perfectly. It's a very grown up pink. Yeah, 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 it is, isn't it? It's a pink that somebody that doesn't really wear pink would wear. You, know you can I mean? see it works well with the, with the sort of burnt oranges yeah. as well. It's a very beautiful uh, color that, isn't it? Totally and utterly natural. I think this is going to look lovely with rose gold, I do. 
Yeah, rose gold. Maybe some rose quartz with it as well. Let's keep Absolutely. that softness. Absolutely. Yeah. Some green. We like a bit yeah. of green. It is our favourite colour after all. Twenty nine ninety five for 100 carats of rhodochrosite. And all of those, that formation can be seen in these. And you can see these are totally natural. Totally natural. Well, you think it would go with these whoppers? It would. You're yeah. not wrong. I wouldn't have put them together, you no. see, but they do. They do, they do, they do. But what about this? Well, if you're feeling sexy. Ooh. Now that's sophisticated. Da, da, da. Da, da. Liam says he is quite sexy. Well, okay, sir. <laughs> He's always feeling sexy, apparently. Well, I am quite sexy. Are you? Okay, all right. <laughs> he is. He is. Aww. Got stood up. Who stood you up? Do you want me to Chinese burn them? We do not condone violence. Do you want me to? It just didn't turn up. Aww. That's mean. I think that's quite mean. She didn't stand him up. She cancelled. She wasn't good enough for you anyway, so leave her where she was. Chris has a date tomorrow, everybody. Is it, who is it with, Chris? Someone off of Tinder? Is it? Oh, we met her in person, oh, the old fashioned way. What did you do? Go up to her and say, can I take you out? They were chatting and he said, we should go to the thing. When does that ever happen? When do you bump into someone and they go, oh, by the way, we should so go to the theatre. <laughs> okay, apparently, look, you don't care about this at home. I am sorry. I think um, there, there's a lot of congratulative... Um, yeah. 17.95 for this. Look at these colours. Right, citrine is one of my favourite gemstones because it's called the it's called the gemstone of happiness. It is. And it, I think it, it goes with that. Ma concern. Yeah, it makes you ha makes you smile, doesn't it? Sunshine. That's one of my favourite colours next to green. Yes. I absolutely adore yellow, and I love the yellow in citrine. If you wear it, you will enjoy it, and until yes. you've worn it, you won't know the joy that you get no, from citrine, no. and I am a massive believer in that. My friend Denise Roberts, who you might know off of Shopping TV, bought me the most beautiful citrine ring, and I absolutely loved it, and I blooming lost it, and oh. I was so upset, and I've never found the same design oh. since. It was a great big emerald cut one. Oh, I loved it, and I've got to find oh. some. I've never seen anybody bring anything out like that oh. since, and I'm gutted. Um, you're supposed to keep citrine for happiness, and it's supposed to encourage money, isn't yeah. it? Come on, come on. Now, <laughs> I'm always wasting my money on things like parking tickets and stuff, you see. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I forgot to pay my congestion charge last week. Oh. It's definitely, I, well, yeah. I was driving that smart car again. And, and the other day, I got flashed, which I didn't know. I was driving in, no, it wasn't that kind of flashed. Um, I didn't know this, but I went, apparently I went in some box you're not allowed to go in in London. All right. And I just stayed there in, in, in the car. <laughs> and... Um, I didn't, no, it's not one of those big yellow ones. I don't know if it was a helicopter landing pad. Um, I got charged 100, no, but you know, listen to what the funny thing is. Not only did I get charged, right, so I was going to a Hindu. I went to the Hindu, parked. I went home, home. I got, I went in that box both journeys. So I can't have seen it. So I got double charged. Oh, no. It's only I was driving Mark's car, so it came through to him and he went, I didn't know. So he asked for the photograph and there I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, don't be on his side all the time because he is crazier than me, I want you to know. No, he's crazier than me. He's crazier than me. If you go in bus lanes, you'll get charged three times. Yeah, I know, I've been there, done it. Worn the T-shirt. Honestly, if you're driving in London, it's so confusing. 
It is confusing. I'm just glad I don't drive. Don't do it. Do, do I have to pay the congestion charge if I was in a smart car, though, because it's low emissions? No idea. No idea. Any Londoners there that can answer me this? Look at these bezel set, beautiful connectors, and you get three of these. Um, oh, earrings and a pendant, or oh, would you put yeah. it in a ring? In, I, mean, I like it, it in a really, really nice and easy straight into ring. Lovely join in a bracelet. Join them together, have all three. Yeah. Straight onto the, the, that slider brace that we've just done. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That would look really nice. between each one. I really Ooh, like these tassels. Check maybe a sterling silver chain tassel from it. Has to. Yeah. Oh yeah, they could be the top of the tassel, couldn't yeah. they? Yeah. You've got some um, sterling silver here, but do you know what I like about these? They're open both. Oh, do you know what you could do? Um, big sections of chain, and have these one, yeah, two, one, two three. three, yeah. Just with silver yeah, chain in between. Yeah, just silver chain. Really simple, but really classy. Oh, I like yeah. the idea of that. Mm -hmm. Angela's messaged in. To say her car, smart car is called Toot Toot. She has got a name. Um, the Smarty. I don't, I, I'm always, I'm, I'm going to be really honest with you. I am often in a bad mood with that car because it just gets me into trouble all the time. Mm. I think it probably hates me too. But to be honest, it's got a great sound system and it has got heated seats. So, I mean, it's all kitted out. Mm -hmm. My daughter loves driving it, but for me... I look at it and it's there like, yeah, I'm going to get you in so much trouble. And I'm like, just, no, like that. My son makes me park around the corner when I'm picking him up because he, he's like that in it. He's like, so embarrassing. I'm like, sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. These are the only keys I was allowed. <laughs> now, I didn't drive into the garage. The garage doors. Just open with the wind and bashed into the car. <laughs> oh, wow. That's gorgeous. This is beautiful. Oh. Oh, that's beautiful. Is this what I think it is? That is st that is the nicest. It's a pink amethyst, though, isn't yeah. it? A rose de France. It's got. It's almost got that tone. It's pink amethyst. It has to be a specific tone, doesn't it? Well, if it well well, I think it is that tone. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Do you not think that's rose de France tone? Because I bloom in well bleeping do. Yeah. I think that's. Oh my word! I love it. I would be very tempted to steal by this. Oh, yes. Look. Oh, it belongs to me. I adore it. That is gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. I didn't steal it. It fell into my bag, okay? Like the garage doors. 14 if you don't get that. I just want to explain the right. Okay, it wasn't. It's, not, it's a garage, but it's not because it's actually a barn, which is we call the garage. So the doors are like this. Is that how hinges work? Yeah. So it's not a. That way. It's not a flappy no. floppy. It's a. Right. So I reckon they just went. <laughs> they're telling me, they're telling me, right, they're laughing at me because, no, it wasn't a trailer, it was a horse box. Now, anyway, anyway, let me, it was, <laughs> no, I don't have one of those. They're laughing at me because I used to rock up having slept in a horse box. And then they saw the inside of it and saw that it had a kitchen and a bedroom. Yeah. And they're like, oh. But let me just tell you, I might have had that, but I also had an electric meter at home. Now, <laughs> I get my priorities all wrong. <laughs> we have got no food or money, but we got a really nice horse box. <laughs> but we have, to, uh, we have to go to Nana's and raid our fridge. Look at this. Oh, oh this my word. Gorgeous. 
Oh, I love Druzy. Oh, this is sparkly. Look. Oh, it has to be a macrame bracelet, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Yeah. And set them so that so that all that sparkles showed off. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> oh, that and an earring, chandelier, cleary, please. Oh, these are stunning. Five ninety five. I love these peacock tones. Yes. Do you? Yeah, absolutely beautiful. They are. Imagine MRP. these. So oh, it's a kainite that we had. <gasps> yes, the special yeah, kainite. Where's that kainite? Kainite? Yes, that'll that work Yes, that works really well. Off. This will look amazing. Yeah, it will work very well indeed. If you bought, or even Katie, yeah. Katie pop, these little just bad pop boys. one of those in the middle. That works, doesn't it? Now, oh, the hour's gone. I'll tell you something. We have got the most ridiculous prices on kits. We've got this gorgeous, gorgeous thing here. We've got the Jasper coming up for you. One of the kits going under 15. And don't forget, if you buy the kit, you're going to be in with a chance of winning one of Casey's masterpieces. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after our tickle. <laughs> Did you know it's World Wool Week? Well, to celebrate here at Jewelry Maker, on Friday, we're gonna give you a whole day dedicated to felting. Yes, it's felting day on Friday from one o'clock. Now, we're gonna have incredible new products for you that we haven't had for ages and ages. Needle felting, sheet felting, and some wonderful inspiration from both Sheila and Mel. So join us from Friday at one o'clock. We can't wait to get woolly with you. This Friday coming up, uh, your deal of the day is an amazing gemstone, Marie. Yes. It's phosphosiderite. I have to say, this is an unusual one for me. I love the colour, though. Yes. Tell us a bit about it. Well, it's a beautiful colour. It's mm. really, really unusual. I can't think of anything else that comes in that opaque with the veins. No, it's gorgeous. Um, it grows in a botryoidal form, so similar to malachite. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, and quite an unusual uh, material. So we thought we'd bring it to you for a deal of the day. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, it's coming up this Friday, 11 o'clock. It's your deal of the day. I can't wait. It's absolutely stunning. Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash get started with JM where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hello everyone, it's Mark here with some news of an up and coming show. Join myself and presenter Carol on the morning show on September the 25th and myself and presenter Hannah on the mid-show on the 25th and myself and Zena on the late show on the 25th. That's right, you've got me all day We're having a Mark Smith day on Wednesday the 25th of September. So in the morning show, Carol and I are going to be showcasing chips, nuggets and macrame, two of my favourite uh, mediums. And then on the mid-show, this is going to be amazing, we have got brand new relaunch, new products, we're going to introduce you again to the world of Paracord. Brand new colours, brand new tools, even the DVDs are back. And then the late show, a bit self-indulgent, one of my other passions, beaded Kumahimo. So we're going to be doing a back to basics show, telling you all about the, the setting up of the discs, finishing, putting clasps on, and how to incorporate beads in your work. So that's Mark Smith Day. Wednesday the 25th of September, the morning, the mid and the late show. There's lots of other surprises, I'm sure. We'll look forward to seeing you then.
At Durymaker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call center team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Tune into Jewelry Maker every morning at 8 a.m. for our breakfast club. We'll be bringing you low, low prices, last chance to buy, and end of line stock. Make sure you're watching because once the deals are gone, they're gone. Check out your Wall of Fame entries in this hour and be in with a chance to win £100 credit to your account. The Breakfast Club on Jewelry Maker. one minute to get yourselves this incredible strand in your baskets on the phone line be there on the website be there tapping the app is advisable you are about to get one of the most unique strands we have here at jewelry maker headquarters every single piece is going to give you something different to grab a hold of i can see animal prints i can see footprints i can see maps of the world i can see a baseball planets. I, I can see planets this is one of those interesting strands where you just can't decide which one your favorite is and let me tell you something right now when you feel these you won't want to stop they are so soft they're beautiful yeah. if it feels so Got so such soft they're so satiny aren't mm. they that's a beautiful beautiful feel to them they've a real good weight to them because of course you've got a big carrot weight here but look which one's your favorite and, so and you're right hard. some of these are quite vintage map yeah. aren't they yeah now you don't have a lot of time for these this is like an artist strand uh, kate's idea was to do something very similar to this just individualize them, uh, but obviously on a larger scale. Yeah. And you would use yeah. these individually. Yeah, you'd want it, want it to turn and see all mm. sides of it. You've got to, haven't you? Look at that. I'm going to count how many are on the strand for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Look at this one. It looks like it's got Japanese writing on That's it. That's amazing. I've got so many favourites. That one's... Oh, sorry. That's this one. I love that one. Now it turn, it changes as it turns. So that one side's totally different to the other. And you've got shading around the inclusions. Are you ready to get yourself something so different, something so brand new? This is hot off the press here at Jewelry Maker. And you're about to get it at a phenomenal price. 20 millimeter rounds, a 38 centimeter strand, a thousand carats on the nose. That means each one gives us 50 carats <gasps> in one gemstone. Wow. A 50 carat 20 mil round is now going to cost you for one 80 nine <gasps> pence wow. this is incredible value a beautiful strand a very individual strand something totally different totally unique for 17.95 this is absolutely bats in space with a bag of crisps absolute madness these are beautiful these are unique 
These are for you. One of these on a suede or leather cord. Yes, yes, yes. £25 yes. minimum. Easily. Easily. This is that strand, Liz. This is yeah. that strand. Another one that would be great for your guru bead and your marlin necklace because it's got that weight. It's got, got that. that so this of, would be my guru? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's usually a larger bead. So this is going to sit beautifully in your marlin necklaces. Now, a huge amount of these have already gone. 40% gone and allocated. We have got so many unchecked baskets. Now is the time. This is your price. 0800 644 Slight queue on the phone lines for these. Uh, Jerrymaker.com is where you can avoid that. Make sure you're checking out baskets as quickly as humanly possible. Half, half the stock gone and lots of you are buying more than one. Uh, Joanne, you've got three. Um, Anne and, uh, and Jonna Groats uh, has got two of these. Now... These feel incredible, and yeah. it's such a shame I can't show you that. You've got duck egg blues in here. You've got the most sensational, we were saying sort of quail's egg feel to yeah. these. Have you ever had a quail's egg? They've yeah, got that sort yeah, of blue it's that, it's that kind of eggshell feel to, yes. it to it as well, isn't it? It's, it's, it's that soft. I wish you could get across how they feel, because that, it's a big factor in these, I think. Comp uh, such a tactile yeah. uh, gemstone, and there's such a wonderful, wonderful opportunity for you to get something very, very different. We don't see opportunities like this very often. Everybody has been super excited about these, and I think you can see exactly why. Just one big... Uh... I think if you were to maybe... You can do a one big... Yeah. Right, the question that was just asked is, is it too big to do one yeah. big massive statement? Yeah. Just, I, no, but I would want to... Um, I would probably I'd pop want to keep something them in between them and maybe make it a long... Maybe something over a chunky jumper or something yeah. like that, chunky sweater, that sort of thing. You yeah. could do that. Yeah. You could do that. that if you watch, really but do you know what? Nice you could just, just like put that. three of them yeah. on a cord and have that. Uh, now, yeah. we're down to the last 16 of these. Uh, we, do you know... And there's 23 in baskets, which means wow. we are thoroughly over allocated. Uh, they're wow. very autumnal. They're very autumnal. But you know something? If you put them with a light blue, they could then cross over into the summer this realms. This is going to be one of those that you get home and you pop out on, on, on your table and you get all your gemstones mm. out and just see, just play with it, see what goes, see what works. Look at that lovely blue there. Isn't that gorgeous? It is gorgeous. It's stunning. Absolutely love this. Uh, now, at OPG P76, we're down to the last 10. We're going into single figures. Any uh, single figures now. Cumbria, Worcestershire, Surrey, Victoria, Kimberley, uh, uh, jewellery maker um, in Dorset. A gem. <laughs> it says collector, so I was going to say gem collector. A gem. I didn't know what to call you, uh, so I just went... <laughs> Um, it's a collector, you're not, well, I didn't know whether you are, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, it's because it's still the system that we used to yeah. use back in the old days when we were, when we were under the gems yeah. umbrella, so mm -hmm. we used to call everyone collectors. 17, I'm calling you jewellery makers. Maxine's joined us, uh, lots of brand new uh, jewellery makers. Jewellery maker in Conway, you're there. Um, Athena, what a beautiful name. Uh, you're, you've got yours now. There are There is a queue on the phone lines, I'm afraid, for this. Check out baskets quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, gracious oh, me. Out on those. Please amazing. don't. Please don't. You don't want to put them down, do you? They no, I love them. They so lovely. They are absolutely tactilicious. I think I made up a word, but that's what they are. Look yeah. at that. If you don't check out, you've missed out on these. We are severely... Right, we've got three left, and you only pay three ninety-five. You can check out as many times as you like, all the way up until midnight. Right, we've got three left, and those three are going between Lynn, a, a jewelry maker in Dorset, Kimberley, anonymous jewelry maker Victoria, jewelry maker in Surrey, Elizabeth in Worcester, another anonymous, a jewelry maker in Cumbria, and Maxine. So there's only three. Some of you are going to be disappointed. I can't count how many of you. Quite a lot of you, if you don't check out baskets. And now Lisa's just coming. She's probably like, oh, don't worry, Jenny, I'm going to take them. Uh, well, they're there for the picking, Lisa. Uh, OPG P76. Now, oh, we got some goodies in this hour. Um, should we, let's, let's show the kit. But before that, I showed you these earlier, a little sneak ledge. Sneak of the picker. Oh, these are gorgeous. I'm a very likey fan of these. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That 
is one hot two trot strand of black spinach coming up later uh, now you know that we've got kits in this hour you know that there's a giveaway so you're ready aren't you for it i know you are what we're going to do is do across both kits of you either one if you buy either one we've got two variations for you we're going to start with the moo kite uh it's from mooka creek in australia not to be confused with wolf creek in australia which is a very scary place now Hang on, I think I'm going to sneeze. Blah. Don't know that wasn't a sneeze, that was a preparation for sneeze. It's gone. Don't you hate that? No, it's still yeah. there. Oh, come on, nose, make up your mind. Apparently, if you sneeze and go, bless you, it stops it. It has gone, actually. That's weird, isn't it? Wow. Do you know why people say bless you? Or God bless us all because, um, yeah, yeah because it, like, yeah, it's, yeah. it's like, achoo, oh no, God bless us all. You've just spread all that disease. Um, anyhow, we don't have to worry about that rhyme. Not the nursery rhyme. <laughs> Tissue, we all fall down. Now, Mukai, again, not to be confused with Mooka Creek in Australia, which is very scary. Um, well, it's not anymore, is it? Um, now, Mark went there, my Mark. Can't, he said something about it, can't remember what it was. He went to Wolf Creek in Australia. Yeah, he used to live in Australia. I've seen the film. Yeah, it's horrible. They never caught him. Have you seen it? It's a true story. No. It's so scary. They'd never blooming caught him. I don't think. I don't think they've caught him anyway. Anyway, we won't talk about that because this is this is nothing to do with that. Mooka Creek in Australia is where this gemstone comes from. It's beautiful. And I think actually when you look at Mukai, you see the same sorts of colours that you would expect in an Aboriginal cave yes. painting, yeah, don't it you? It looks like the, lands the landscape, doesn't it? That, that, those colours just mimic where it's from. Look at this one. Look, they're so shiny and but delicious. 90 carats across your cabochons and then these one dells are just oh, something else. Beautiful. Aren't they just? Now we're also getting, do we get all this wire? Yes, we do, Jenny. Am I getting the champagne gold? Yes, I am. 10 meters of each. You have got your one mil, your 0 0.8 and your 0 0.4. So you're gonna be able to wire wrap these really well indeed. So you could be in with a chance of winning something from Katie. If you purchase this kit or the next kit, are you ready for a fan? Fantastical price tag. GBX C28, this is only £24.95 for all this Mukai. Mukai alone, if we're going to give you this strand, I think that would be that would be about that price anyway, wouldn't yeah. it? Where else are you going to find Mukai? Have you ever seen Mukai anywhere else? Only at, at shows. Rock and Gem Fest I've and seen, yeah, and that's yeah. it. Yeah. Never seen it anywhere else apart from there. It's such a pretty gemstone. Such a pretty one. I love the mustards. It's a very uh, country yes. colour tone, yeah. isn't and it? Very, very on, still on trend at the moment. Twenty-four pounds. Like, yes, totally. Yeah. Sorry, Katie. Yeah, yes, totally. Right. Absolute beautiful quality, and then you're getting the wire as well. Uh, now, if you like this colourway, twenty-four ninety-five. But we've got an alternative for you. So the one that you actually got sent, Katie, it's called Shadows. Not scary shadows. Not scary shadows. Well, that's not that. So no. you get back over there, you. So we are getting. I must uh, take from your captions. Yes. I please forgive me, but I, I know somebody. Something's happened to us. So we have got. I have not put them in my bag. I haven't even got my handbag here because of the law about what happened last time. Now, not really. I'm only joking. <laughs> you get two hundred and ninety-five carats. Now you're going to you, say, you bless, you. say bless you. Say bless you. Bless you. Did it work or not? I think it might have done. That's, That's weird. Magic. Is it magic or is it like a, the bless you God that just quickly is mixed yeah. in and takes out your nose? I don't know. Now, you have got the most exceptional tiger's eye cubes. I know you love this, Katie. Should we have a little yes. peruse across the jewellery that Katie's actually um, made out of this? So you're getting the round copper wire in that gorgeous colour. So you've got, there you go. Look at that. So it was all about prong setting for you with this one, yes. wasn't it? We promised you a kit at a certain price, which I can't remember what was earlier. 
Well, I was going to say under 15, but then I didn't want to chance it because I did that before and you were like, no, I didn't say that. And I was like, Arr! I dreamt it. Sometimes I dream things and then I forget that I dreamt it and thought it was an actual thing. So one piece of jewellery, the earrings you're seeing right now, would sell for the price that we are about to yes. give you. Those are fabulous. They're fabulous, Katie. Thank you. Are you ready for a jaw dropper of a price? Look at this, I love that. Right, we were supposed to be giving this at 19 yes, this, and this that's... this is where we we're supposed to be. Which is a great guide price. Yeah. Great value at that. Now, the kit team can be um, a formidable bunch. They yes. stick together. They lunch together. If you go in there and you say something they don't quite like, they even keep this how, this how strict they are. They even keep the salt in the building to make sure that um, everybody gets... Not and not not too much salt. Nobody's oh. allowed it. That's how strict they are. And that's a true story. Fourteen ninety five. Brilliant rosary linking here on this great price. Um, you could make this price up, could you, just from simply selling the earrings? Oh gosh, yes, yes, absolutely. Isn't it fabulous? Yeah. What a fabulous kit. VTX C twenty seven oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. Thomas Sabo does use Tiger's Eye. You know, a lot of big names out there will use Tiger's Eye. It has a lot of myth and legend behind it because it says it's a, a courageous, a gemstone to give you courage and strength and guidance if you believe in that kind of thing. The copper wire is great. You don't see that right. You walked into Bobby Shaft and you tried to, or, or a shop that rhymes with that and you tried to get copper wire. I think you struggle, uh, particularly in all the gauges. But I tell you what, we've got what Bobby Shaft ain't. Uh, VTX C27, the shadows. Now we are going to give to you, well, I say we, Katie is going to inspire us now with some fabulous demonstrations. Wow. Please take it away, Katie. I don't know why I'm French. Please take it away, Katie. I'm going to remember to put my glasses on this Please time. Please do. Are they strong ones? No. Right, so we're going to use the pear shape and I'm mm -hmm. going to do the, the um, exaggerated um, prongs on the pear shape. That's uh, this one. Okay. Thank you. Oh, those lovely long ones. Yeah, exactly. Is this a beginner or an advanced? Absolute beginner. Absolute beginner. Okay, Absolute beginner. Nice and nice and easy. So, so we're going to start off with that bottom prong. So what we need to do is kind of make the shape and then we're going to form it, form them prongs around it. It's a nice simple bale as well. So, so I'll be able to take you all the way through, through the demo. Okay, okay, great. So I'm going to use bale making pliers, but you can use your round nose pliers and use the different um, widths, that, widths that you've got on, on those as well. So you would use the, um, the widest part here. So I'm going to go for this third size and my length of wire, that is probably about 50 centimetres. Okay. Yeah. And I'm using the, the one mil, so I've got that strength from the one mil, so that's your structural wire. Okay. So we're going to pop our pliers right in the centre there. And I'm going to use this one, on this, this slightly larger one, just to make that middle prong. So I'm going to bring that back round. And all I'm doing is using my fingers just to bring that back round and make that central prong. So this prong is going to sit on the front there. So it's going to be a design feature. Oh, easy feature. and lovely, yeah. yeah. You, could, you could make that smaller and make it into a... But I, I kind of wanted it to be an actual design feature. Okay, so I've got that prong there. And then so that I know I've got the right length, I'm just going to hold that where I want it to be and bring it around the back, just literally using my fingers and pushing, okay? Mm -hmm. Because it's an agate cab cabochon and it's, it's very highly polished, it's beautiful, it is quite slippery. But don't worry, because none of this is going to come out of shape until Brilliant. you're actually pop popping it in. So don't worry if it keeps slipping around, it's no problem at all. So we've got our first shape in there. Okay, so then we're going to turn it around to the back and I know I want to wrap in this central section here. So I want to bind these wires together in the centre. So I can take my cabochon out. Mm -hmm. I've already got this shape in here and I can take a small piece of my 0.4 wire. You can work from the reel. I'm just taking it off the reel because it's easier for demonstration purposes. So, and what we're going to do is we always start a wrap on one wire. So I'm bringing this down in between holding my little tail over the side so I'm holding my wires together so I've got two separate wires my wires in between and coming from underneath I'm going to just give this a couple of wraps and each time 
and taking the wire over, but it's actually me pulling and pushing with my thumbnail that's actually tightening it up. Okay, so we've got a few wraps, so we call those anchor wraps. So they're the, the parts that are going to keep everything together, and we've got a nice firm beginning for our, our wire wrapping. Okay, and then from then, this is very, very simple. We're just going to wrap over the two wires because all I want to do is bind them together. So nice and close together and keeping your wraps nice and neat. Just taking this around and around just to create a nice little bind together at the back there. Okay, mm -hmm. and then what we're going to do is just finish on the opposite side on one wire again. So I've brought my wire up and in between moving my fingers up so I'm supporting the little bit of wrapping that I've just done. I'm going to pull that and push that down and then just a couple of wraps just on one wire again. So again starting on one wire and always finishing on one wire so that you've got a nice secure firm wrap. Okay mm -hmm. now so bringing these together just give them a little squish and bringing them together. Now don't worry if it's slid up a little bit because you should be able to just move them down just a little bit at a time, like so. I'm just pushing them down a little bit there, that's better. Okay, and then I just want to snip these wires off. And what I would do is kind of bring them to back to the back so they're going to sit on the inside. So snipping that one off there. This one's already at the back, so I can turn that over. When I say at the back, I mean so it's going to sit on the back of the cabochon so any of the ends are going to be against the gemstone and not able to scratch anything. Okay great, okay. so always be conscious of, of turning yeah, your ends in. Yeah, always be conscious of any wires that might protrude because you don't want it to catch on your clothes mm -hmm. or scratch your skin. Okay, so from there these are nicely bound together so what you can do is you can actually pop a bit of tape, just a bit of low tack tape, a bit oh, yeah, that'd be a good idea. Yeah. and hold it in place. So sometimes that's, that's something I do but I'm going to give it a go without it today so it may get a bit slippery but We'll see what happens. Yeah, well. So I'm going to pop my pliers in. So I'm using the very tip of my chain nose pliers. Just to pop my pliers in and bring these out. It's got a nice right angle there. Yep, so we get a nice angle and we want them to be sort of looking at your cabochon, making sure this is in the middle here and we're going to get them to be approximately the same width apart. Okay, and now I want to look at, turn it over and look and think I want my prongs to come over and it's kind of a, ma a matter of gauging how much you want it want them to come over so I know my, I want my prongs to be about kind of so long so that I get a nice dramatic look as well upon it okay so I can take this out and then I can either use my bell making pliers or my chain nose pliers uh, sorry round nose pliers and pop that prong in okay so I'm going to pop and hold that there and I'm going to bring this back around and down this way so that's going to create that next prong okay now I want to do the same with the other side in just a second I just we need to bring this the wire that we've just brought over to so pop in my pliers in I want to bring this back up in line so it's going to come up and start creating that bail for us in a second so oh, this is really clever this is all one continuous yeah. piece so we can nip that together a little bit we don't want it to be nipped together too much but bringing this just for strength. So that, yeah, just for strength. The more you work your wire, the more strength you're going you're to be giving it. Now, what you can do, and what I would probably do at home, I would probably measure this. Okay. But we're just going to go for it. Basically, because I haven't got a ruler. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to pop our pliers in. And we're going to make an identical prong, hopefully, the same length. So just holding that in place and bringing that around. Maybe a little bit big. Bring that around like so. So to create that other side of the prong, okay, so round about right, and then we're just going to pop our pliers in there and bring this back into shape, okay. So just be quite mindful when you're working with your wire, you don't want to be too kind of bending it and manhandling it a little bit, you want, you want to stay nice and as smooth as possible. That way it'll have a lovely neat yeah. finish. Yeah. So then we're going to pop, and what we do is on this part, work from the reel, because we're going to do a nice long wrap on okay. this one. So exactly the same as we did before, popping our wire in, so I've got that tail coming through here, I'm going to start wrapping just on one side, so just holding that, and wrap a couple of wraps exactly the same as we did last time, a couple of wraps on one side, 
bring them in nice and tight and neat. And then we're just going to do the exact same thing, so wrapping over two wires at a time until we get a length that we're going to create a bail with. So I've always, because you don't really want to watch me just wrap and wrap and wrap. Here's one I made earlier. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop our gemstone in. So we can see where our prongs ah, that's brilliant. are going to come out there. Okay, so holding this in place. Now you could do it with your fingers, you could do it with your pliers. What I tend to do is either using round nose pliers or um, some baling pliers, just kind of kink the ends a little bit, just so that I know they're going to kind of grip. Like a little against. kick up. Just a little kick, just upwards. Okay. Great. And then I would probably just use my fingers. A little bit at a time, just each side, just making sure we keep this nice and centered. Get a, a good tension yeah. with your fingers and that way you won't yeah, crack and the gemstone. Yeah, I'm supporting it at this side as well. I'm holding on the front there. So a little bit at a time. Holding it. Holding it. Until we get that nice and secure in there. Okay. Now it might still just have a little bit of a wiggle, but don't worry because we can kind of counteract that when we wrap this little tiny bit of a okay. tip there at the front. So you can, you've always got time for that? Yeah, there's always time. And if you do get, sometimes we do get gemstones that just like to wiggle. Yeah, and that's things. not going to come out. Yeah, we can't, can't get it's not going to come out anywhere. So don't be afraid. If you've still, even after you've done your bail, if it's still got that little bit, don't be afraid, afraid of just bobbing a tiny little dab of glue just at the back. Yep, jewelry do on that. Use glue all the time. Mm -hmm. so it's not a problem yeah. at all. Yeah, but spend a little bit more time than I have there just making sure that's all nice and grasped in. And once it's in, in, once we've done the bail, we can also tighten those up as well. Okay, so I'm going to pop my chain nose in and just tip this a little bit forwards. Okay, and then I'm going to pop in my bailing pliers and bring this back over. Don't worry, that's popped out. How did he that even get out? He just sneaked out the side. Nice oh, sneaker. Okay, so we're going to pop him in and you will stay as you're told. Okay, we don't need this tail of wire anymore. Okay, and then we want to hold everything together and bring one wire this way. Mm -hmm. So I'm coming over the side at this side, holding in place. Like I say, yours, because you've taken a bit more time, probably won't be as wobbly as mine. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to capture that tip in there. So over there over there. Ah, oh, there you go. So now you've really hugged that it in. in there. So it probably will still need a little bit more manipulating on these prongs as well. But all we're going to do is wrap this around and around this way. Nice and neat. Yeah, so we've actually captured that tip in there. And then what we can actually do is, using our pliers, we can squish these in a little bit more. Turning and squish these in a little bit more. Now that's a lot tighter now okay so and these little things what, what you can do is pop little, little swirls on the ends or, or whatever you like but I tend to find because we've wrapped around a couple of times I can cut these off quite short and neat especially if you're not a kind of swirly person and as long as you nip those in so that they're out of the way and not able to catch on anybody's clothes like so just take that around a little bit more Squid. There we go. Fabulous, oh. darling. There you go. Fabulous. Have a look at what you've got. Isn't it beautiful? That's fun. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, so I'll be, spend a little bit more time just making sure your prongs are really nice and, and as tight. And the more you manipulate them, don't go too heavy on them, but the more you manipulate them, the more work hardening you are of, of the wire, so it's going to be even more secure. There you go. And you yeah. know something? Um, we have got so many tutorials on our website. If you're just beginning, also, the basic toolkit is all you need for that. It's yes. $9.99 on our website. Else, just the basic toolkit. That's the best yeah. price toolkit I've yeah. seen for jewellery making. It's just it's fabulous. Amazing. Now, I still have mine. I still go back to it. Uh, and it's a yeah. great one. Yeah. I've got... Um, uh, I haven't got the actual toolkit here, but I do have... Oh, I've got a toolkit. Yeah. I've got a kit <laughs> here. One this isn't our basic one, though, is it? Oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah. There's the basic toolkit. We'll give you that in a sec. Now, um, I've got to let you know... That the Jasper two have bounced back. We thought it was sold out. Two have bounced back. 
if you want the Jasper, you have two opportunities because we were well over allocated with that. A lot of you thought you'd missed out because it said that they'd sold out. We've got the toolkit for you. So if you're brand new to jewelry making or if you just need to replenish because you've had yours for six years because they do last ages, uh, then we've got you the basic toolkit. Now, I have been somewhere else to work in a crafty environment and we had a toolkit very similar and I think it was £30. And I was thought, I believe oh, it, it was yeah. nice. It's 29.99, I think. It wasn't fly mark, no. Uh, now, with ours, you get a fabulous little finding case or your... Or you've got your, um, or you put your loose gems or anything in there, jump rings, things yeah. like that. You have a bee dreamer. Most basic toolkits don't come with a bee dreamer. And, and they're so important because, yeah. especially if you're using Essential. genuine gemstones, when you do that drill hole, um, it can gather dust. And sometimes you can't get your medium to it and you're like, why won't this elastic go in? And instead of getting crossed, you get your bee dreamer, you go, brr, 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 and through the dust goes. You've got a little scoopy scoop to scoop your beads up with. You've got some precision tweezers, so if you're picking so up loose gems. The tweezers I use myself for pearl knotting. Perfect. Oh, perfect. You've got some scissors in there, which are super sharp. These are my favorite, because they're little snippet. Look, yeah. listen to this for a snip. It's satisfying, isn't it? It's a good snip, that. Now, be careful with them, because they're so sharp. You have your round nose pliers. Um, look, these our pliers have got a lovely bounce on them here. Yes. And you know what the greatest thing about our pliers are? They're not so wide that you're going, yeah, you get some such of them, you're like, ache, thumb ache. What the, I always call that my drumstick. Yeah. Because it looks like a chicken drumstick, that, that fat bit on there. But my thumb drumstick always oh, aches when you've, got, when you've got ones that aren't really thought very well out. You know what I mean, don't you? A thumb, a thumb drumstick. Then you've got a thumbstick. Your chain nose pliers. Some are often called dolphin nosed, aren't oh, they? Right. They're, or they well, used to be back in the day. Yeah. And they've got a nice flat edge to these. Right, now, you have got your snips. And if you look at this, correct me if I'm wrong, you've got a little hole here in these. Now, you, you, can you see the hole? There you go, through it. Or not? Mm, can you see it? It's at the base. I think you can put, cut memory wire from the very bottom, bottom, bottom bit, but not from this bit. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, look, there's a hole. Can you see the hole? There is. I'm going to try that. Can, here, I've see the hole? I've so many pairs of flush cuts with memory Yeah, wire. you can use that bit only for your flush, uh, for your memory wire, but this bit for the rest. Mm -hmm. take, take that with you wherever you go. And then we can zip it up. Okay, when, uh, so these launched when we were at Jawmaker $14.95. Then we brought them down to $12.95 as a deal. Then when I left $9.95, and, and they're $9.95 on the website always now, right? Oh, we're bringing it down, apparently, which is rather glorious. You little rascal. <laughs> you can buy these pliers separately. You, you can buy these buy things the separately. Case for that. If you go into the shop that runs with Bobby Shaft, you will get your snips and they would be eight pounds. And that's the price of them each. You know what? Get someone you love into jewellery making. If this is your first ever you purchase, could, yeah. you get your two... Oh, we get all excited. <laughs> you get two stands for free. Yeah. You've got to get started, DVD. You're ready. You are ready. GLCR60, this is only 5 95 You don't get this. Are you even a jewellery maker? Are you even? I'm questioning it. 5 95 That's pocket change. Go Take yourself into the garage and think, oh, I'm just going to get a sandwich and a drink. And they'll be like, that's 8 million. Not really yeah. 8 million, but it's so expensive and they're not even tasty. Or you get something that's going to actually... Yeah, yeah, two coffees. Not even that. If you don't even get me started on the syrup shots now, you could get something that I don't even go there because that's just, I can't do it. It's too sweet for me anyway. And well, I know someone who got incredibly large on syrup shots and it's put me off and they, they didn't know that's what they were doing. And it was syrup yeah, I, shots. I, I too sweet. They're so fattening. Oh, they do have the, I do have the sugar free one at home. Do you? Yeah. It's not you, Liam. You're not even rotund. You're more of a rhombus. <laughs> <laughs> You're more of a puffy rhombus. You're not even. You've got a nice figure. Just calm yourself down, will you? For goodness sake. Yeah. 5.95. This is incredible. If you've already bought, yes, you may as well add it to your order, Oliver. You're not wrong because you pay one P&P all day long. Yeah. All yeah. day long. Okay, let, right. Let's say you could have I'm this as brand your new. travel. Yes. Pick. 
because it's all condensed. I've got a huge bag that's full of things, but I know if I was going somewhere, I could do everything I wanted to do just mm -hmm. from here. Mm -hmm. These are brilliant. I can show you. You can use them straight away. Thanks. I do love, there's something very satisfying about a nice snip. Yes. They're brilliant tools, brilliant. No, it's not, but don't that's forget you've got mil, a little, That's one mil. That's one mil wire, yeah. snippity snip snip. Memory wire tomorrow, you can see whether it works, Liam. They're gonna get him to do it. It's in spools. Oh, I've got an itch, it's not knits. Uh, 595 GLCR60. Make sure, uh, Losey there, Rio, what a gorgeous name you've got. Margaret, Julie, Hilma, Kerry, uh, Jacqueline, Terry, Helen, Mary, Sandra, Trudy, Brenda, uh, Jewelry Maker in Shropshire, Somerset, Janice or Janice, depending, or Juanice, uh, Marion of Tipperary. I think I've got um, 12 of these. I do do workshops though, but... If you do yeah, workshops... Yeah, they're absolutely amazing. If you do workshops, you can buy 10 today for less than £60. Yep. And imagine the postage you would pay somewhere else for that amount of weight. Amazing! Amazing. <gasps> yeah, don't tell them, because they're weighty. They're not, they're not not weighty, they're weighty. Buy ten. Try my memory wire theory, hope it works. It did work back in the day. Source me some memory wire. <laughs> I can't. Oh, you just have to remember you put the memory wire and see what you did there. Boom, boom! Check out or miss out. Right, I haven't done this for about six years, so I'll cut a little bit. Okay, I'm on the edge of memory wire. I'm on the edge, I'm a woman on the edge. So you go right down. Oh, hang on, this is, this is thin. Right down at the bottom. No, I'm not down at the bottom. I'm not down, I'm scared. It did, it did do it back in the day. I'm telling you, you've got to get it right though. That's it, isn't it? Hang on, can you do it? Because you're more... You get it right in there. Oh, no, I am in there, look. Am I doing that thing, like looking at the end of a hose? No, because it was... No, I haven't lied to you, I promise. I reckon our memory wire was thicker. Because this isn't that thick. Our memory wire used to be thicker, I'm telling you. It's the steel one I used to do it with. It's thick for thicker, because yeah, this is yeah, skinnier. Yeah, it's... Look, because I can just, bend that, it doesn't work with that yeah. one. So ignore what I said, but that to be fair, that is thinner than what we used to have the gold. It, it, the steel one, yeah. it did used to yeah. be thicker, thank you. What's this story remind you of? And it better not be, no, that garage door, I want to get, <laughs> Mark's rang me back. I'm going to get Mark to um, to send a picture of my, my parking and I want you to tell me whether I've crashed or not, okay? There's only one thing that can fix this, and that's these beauties. <gasps> so we have got for you the master of disguise, Black Spinel. Um, this is often uh, mistaken for another gemstone of a higher caliber, but this is just lustrous and gorgeous. Now, it's not often we see a cushion cut like this. The, the sparkle from a Black Spinel, I think, can only be likened to, a, oh, I've got some black diamonds, and to be honest, they are sparkly, but you, have, you don't have to make sure they're clean. Yes. Black Spinel will still give you a sparkle even if it's not in its cleanest state, which makes me happy. Now, you could set these into a ring. We've still got some of the prong set pieces. Go on the website and have a look at all of the goodies you've missed out on. The temptation is to put these into a necklace or a bracelet, wouldn't yes. it be? Yeah, and maybe to channel set and support them at the back yes. so they couldn't spin. So they'd be channel set really mm. beautiful. A little bit like the bracelet that's on the end there. That and bro, do you want me to fetch it over? Oh. We're finding it. There we go, the one with the tiger's eye cubes. Yeah. On the cone. Here we go. Yes, that would look lovely. Yeah. What colour? I think silver. Silver, definitely. It would be very Chanel, yes. darling, very wouldn't it, darling, darling. Katie, just a ring with one of these would yeah. be lovely. Yeah, just a really, really simple ring, definitely. 
And you could get such value yeah. out of it. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm going to have a tiny wire, wire like that. I just very, very simply wrap. There's something crawling on my leg, sorry. It might be my uh, leg hair growing, I don't know. Now, sorry, sorry, I'm so sorry something was crawling on me. Is it a ghost or is it a spider? I think I'd prefer a spider to touch me, I'm not sure. I can't see anything. Or is it my le own leg hair? No, it's something crawling, isn't it? It's a flea. Now, it's not a flea, I haven't got fleas. Now, let's talk again high-end and lustrous now and look at that price. Crazy price. Ridiculous. What but a just great one, opportunity. One in a ring, you mm -hmm. wouldn't sell for 9 95 No. Let's put it next to other colours as well. Because you could put it instead of the rose yeah. quartz and have yeah. it just singing. In case you didn't know what singing was, I gave you an example. I don't know why I did that. So you've got something that's going to give you high impact, something that's going to give you luster, something that's going to give you sparkle. We're talking Christmas jewellery. We're talking oh, yeah. New Year's Eve jewellery, going out to dinner jewellery, going to the theatre. Yeah. Somebody's going on a little date, aren't they? Who was it who was going on a date to the theatre? Oh, it was Chris. Chris is constantly chatting people up. Fair play to him. ADR U21, 48 carats of black spinel. These faceted irregular squares are between four and six centimetres. Ooh, with the uh, microfaceted garnet we had on earlier. Yes. yes, yes, you're not wrong. Just really simply, just separate it out. You could put this, let's put it with some colour. Here they are. What about this for a Christmas piece? Nice to go. I don't think, it, well, it's black. It doesn't yeah, matter what you put it next matter. to, yeah, does it? Gonna it will always be lovely. It's very sophisticated. Oh, no, this, um, this works. Yes, please. That's thunder, isn't it? Oh. We're going to give you now. Well, I never. Right, are you ready? You're Listen. Ooh. Yeah, I know. I know. If you don't frame these in wire and put them on your jewellery stand and say, look, I, yes. I do genuine gemstones. These could go in the home. They're just a, a wire you stand. You make a little wire stand and just have them just displayed. Definitely. Yeah. You could take your pictures. I mean, if you make wire work rings, you could use that as your, your base for your pictures. Definitely. Yeah. That in a frame. Is that the Isle of Wight? It could be, I was going to say, it's a country. <laughs> Isle, of the White is, Isle of the White isn't a country, is it? <laughs> is it a country of its, it's own right, the Isle of no, Wight? It's, it's not, UK. is it? No. No, you definitely Yeah, but don't. like Wales is in the UK and that's a country. No, it's definitely, don't know. Definitely, definitely not. That. Okay, sorry. No, I, think it's, I think it comes up like Portsmouth postcode. How weird is that? Can you swim from Portsmouth to the Isle you of Wight? You probably White? could, but I wouldn't. Across the Solent. Because the Salt? Solent. What's that's Solent? That. That's the, the body of water that separates it from the land. What will that do to us? No, it, that's, I'm just saying that's the name of the, the bit of sea. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know what a solent. I've never heard the word solent. The solent. I, um, I didn't do very well in geography, as you can imagine. Neither did I, surprise me. You're really good at it. You've just told me a solent thing. Yeah, they asked me, the other night, they asked me where Wiltshire was. I have no idea. I can tell you where <laughs> Wiltshire is. It's, right, it's where Swindon is. I don't know where that is either. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a shyer girl. I used to work. Swindon is, okay, so it's, it's above Cheltenham and Sirencester. I got married on the Isle of Wight, so I know where that did is. Did you? Yeah. How did you get there? On a boat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in a car, on a boat. You can't fly to the Isle of Wight, You no? can't. It's got an airport. It's very tiny. I bet it's expensive to fly there, because yeah. otherwise I'd have, I'd have just gone for the gag. Yeah. Five ninety five. they're brilliant. Fair. They're brilliant. They are, they could be the Isle of Wight. <laughs> they are cool. Now, I think you'd keep these in a bowl decoratively. Yes. I'd wear the blue ones, I'm going to be honest. I'd wear one of them in a tassel, I wouldn't put them too many together. Yeah. 
that I love that that colour tassel is brilliant. Isn't it's that? a br yeah. yeah, actually, let's let's give it some justice here because you've got a tassel. Well, there, that looks really cool. Tassel, actually, yeah. yeah, yeah. Chunky bag charms. Oh yeah, that's perfect for bag charms. A bit Versace in the yellow. Actually, you've really Ooh, done yes. it to me now. Twenty four ninety five for both. Where would you put the right? I I never know what to do. Right, we've got a pink strand like this, and I got flummoxed with it because I thought, well, I just don't know where I'd put it if it wasn't a tassel. I'd probably use it in the earrings, definitely. So just so you get all that light shine, mm. you know, on all the reflections start starting around, shining around it. So you could do that. Uh, F A X C fifty one is your item code. Now, I just I'm not. Outside of a tassel, I don't know where I'd use it. I'm just being honest. Now, I'm going to give to you. What am, where am I going, darling? I'm going right in front of myself. Okay. If you bought the Jasper and you wanted one and one, you're going to like these. I like them. <gasps> They've got drill. Oh, oh drillage. Come back to me. That's a good size drill hole as well. That that good, yeah, I've just put one, one mil wire through there that so I can't necessarily grasp. Looking at that, I think it may get 1.25 through there as well. Oh, you so would, you yeah. Could make, there's loads again. So you could, if you've got the 1.25, you could just make a really simple pinch bale from the top of it. So it's just like a triangle that's cut at the bottom and that you just um, pinch in. And you just let it be, in the words of the Beatles. Yeah. 280 carat. Oh, this is going to be a, Oh, this is one for you. You'll like this price a lot. 795 yes. for yes. two. You could do just like what you've done here. Yeah, yeah, because that's yeah, because that's quite a, a, a large cabochon. You could definitely do that. I don't know. I call this a, f a flower agate. I think it's uh, a mob. I've not. To be honest, I don't really. I haven't really seen much flower agate. So, oh, do we see any? F I've never seen. F Oh, the white bit is where it's called a flower, agate. Oh, that bit there. Oh, yeah, that is a little flower. No, I take it back. I take it back. And there's a little flower there. Okay. I'll, I'll let them have that one. You know me, I like to call spades spades. So, uh, you know. We had corner drilled circles yesterday and I, oh. wouldn't, I wasn't having it. Was I was like, well, where were the corners? Well, exactly. So I, did, I, yeah, I said, Simon, I'm not being funny, love. There's no corners in an oval. No. <laughs> Apparently, I like to call a spade a spade in a garage door a parking space. <laughs> yeah, but at least, like, I can take it. I can take it. Now. Boop, boop, ba -doo. Do, 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 do. Okay, we've got to do as many as we can in 10 minutes, which is fine. Oh, seven minutes. Oh, three double strands. So effectively two, four, six strands. I had to, yes, I had to do that. Um, in that memory wire that's coming up tomorrow. Oh, yes. Oh, we got winners. We got winners to announce as well, mind. Oh, gosh, yeah. Oh, you better keep your ears peeled. All three strands are going at a wow. ridiculous... Now, we don't do... Do you remember we used to do 10-strand bundles at X amount? Yeah. We can't do that anymore because we worked out we weren't making any money and uh, we were all quite hungry. 5 95 We can't be making money on that. Yes, yeah, six yeah. strands. So you're paying a pound a strand. Remarkable. Oh, yeah. Oh, ready for Mark Smith day. He likes a nugget, that one. He's been on holiday, hasn't he? He's on for a whole day. I think he is, yeah. How's he going to talk for that long? Is that even legal? Not that I'm going to pull that up. And he'll be having legal breaks. Legal breaks. Okay. Legal breaks so he can feed the phoenix. Now, where are we going? Doopy doo. What are these? Oh, these are gorgeous little oh, pendant the bales. bales. They're gorgeous. Well, I wondered whether they were ready to fill with resin or, or something. You could do. Because you could do that. They're, they're very thick gold, aren't they? Silver and gold. 
So I've used these before as as an earring, just pops a jump ring on and straight onto an ear wire. And you've just got that little dainty earring. I like the idea of that. Yeah. Very pretty. Yeah, so you're actually using it upside down. Yeah. I like that, yeah. I think it's fabulous. Uh, so these are rose gold on sterling silver. You're getting four of them. And we're giving you a bit of a night owl deal. The three, my wow. less than a pound each for the... Yes. Uh, for the element of precious metal yes. in your collection, I think that's really, really well priced indeed. 800 644 one pound a bay roll. A bay roll. A bay roll. Hey, no, M-A-X. Oh, Max, C49. Oh. Max C, that's my son. Um, 390, it's not my son, I mean, that's not him. Um, these are some bales. Yeah, mm. do you know where he's gone, the little rat bag? I rang him and I heard all this commotion. I said, where are you? In between the break, where are you? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you, I'm at the fair. It's nine o'clock. Get home immediately. Oh, I asked Mark and he said it was all right. Well, I'm telling you it's not. He thinks it's all right to park your car in the garage like that. No, no, he doesn't. <laughs> he went, absolutely. He was genuinely angry. He was genuinely, genuinely angry about that, but I couldn't see the bad side. I was quite... No, I'm not leaving him alone, he's young. It's the fair, it's a dangerous place. I don't... No, he is chatting to girls, no doubt. Now, it's very hard having a teenage son because you don't know what they go through, so you can't really relate yeah, to them, I'm, so you have to be gonna... very patient. Yeah, I'm getting worried. He's only six, though. So yeah. yeah, you just need to know that they literally can't do anything really for themselves or they pretend they can't so you just do it for them whereas a girl would be like i can do it yeah. get away from me whereas a boy will be like please can you iron the my shirt well no iron my shirt that's a normal thing but yeah. um you know anything anything make me some toast any basic yes. chill put my sock on i can't get this sock on my foot you know all sorts of things JDYY 41, 30 carats of beautiful Labradorite. We grabbed this strand earlier because we thought it went so oh, well. Yes, beautiful. With the, the black spinel, and it really does, doesn't it? You're already in for this. And a couple of you actually texted in asking us when we were going to give you this. Here it is. Don't forget, we'll be announcing the winner very shortly. How long do we have? $7.95 is your price. $7.95 is your price. That is brilliant. We don't see enough Labradorite at the moment. There's not a lot. No. There's not a lot, is no. there? Seriously, grab it while you can. Fabulous, isn't it? Now, we have got two winners. We're going to announce the winner for this first. Are you ready for drum rolls? I want to hear jump, drum rolls. So the winner of this incredible pendant. From where? From where? It's Beverly Wood from a, somewhere we don't know where you are. So well done, Beverly. It's your lucky night now. Oh, and yeah, some earrings, and some earrings. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure them out. Okay, right, so the earrings too, so I'll give you that. Yeah. Then the second piece from the second kit is going to... <laughs> Lynn Walton, do you like what I did there with the Walton thing, Jim? Yay! They don't know what the Waltons are, do they? No, they don't. No. no. Lynn Walton, well done to you. Thank you so much for everybody that... Um, those will be wrapped and sent to you. I'll give that to yeah. you too, thank you. Um, so we're gonna, shall we do some Swivel of Olofsky? Oh, now these Ooh, will go with oh, your hot spinel. Fix. What? Oh, are these hot fix? fix? Yeah. Oh, I love hot fix so I can put them on handbags and yeah. stuff. Um, shoes, do we have the hot fix tool? Shoes. So oh, little, little oh flower I want or them on my shoe. shoe. Yeah. Oh, I want them on my shoe. I love these. Sorry, I, did I get too excited? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I have a pair of um, black stilettos that have got the Swarovski skulls on them. You could put them on the back of the yeah. stiletto. Oh, right down the heel. That is quite sexy, by the way. Mm -hmm. Hot fix. Oh, what? We haven't, we haven't seen them. Have we seen them? Oh, we did, apparently. Sorry, I wasn't <laughs> looking. Sorry. Now... Oh, it's the one with the... Yeah. 
Oh, for I it. put it in there, do I? Yeah. Oh, I put it in there. It's amazing. How do I get it in there? It just fits. There you go. Oh, I love that. That's amazing. So, so it comes separate and you just yeah, put jewelry glue? So just glue. some hypo cement. Oh, I'm happy. I think that's, that's fab. Gorgeous. Look at the sparkalina. Gorgeous. I will be back on Friday. And I'm going to probably bring, if they'll let me, Maeve the puppy. So we could do some Maeve the puppy deals. I don't yeah. know. Um, when are you back, though, I'm more back importantly? Monday mid-show. <laughs> what have you got? Uh, it's clear Clearance, yeah. Clearance on Monday? Are we supposed to tell everyone that? No, don't, no. Oh, my gosh, we're not supposed to tell anyone. I'm so sorry. I didn't get I'm that so email. I'm so sorry. It's always me and my stupid mouth. Before I get out to cause any more trouble, we must go. Thank you so much, Katie. Love you. Bye. <laughs>